access granted. Oi, oi. How you doing? Uh, happy Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. The best day of the week. If for some people. Some people hate it. I like it. Uh, how you doing, Scotty? You well? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, sorry I'm a bit late. Never mind. You, you know, I think <laughs> it probably seems like not late now. But, uh, <laughs> uh how do I do getting Darkwood? Um, we got, uh, we started Chapter 2. Um, and, uh, we got like a little bit into it. I didn't make like a massive cock up though. The the way the chapters work in Darkwood is that once you start the the next chapter, it seems like you never go, you never return to the previous chapters areas. So, you know, I think the idea is you're supposed to like gather up all your your equipment and materials and stuff, and like head over to, you know, before you head over to the next chapter. So we just went went over there naked and it didn't end so well. I might get I might give it another go at some point in the future. And so it's like a more measured pace with it. I think like I say, I hate the melee combat. But I feel that the um if you could get a, a shotgun and maintain a decent supply of ammunition because when the traders come, they kind of uh I don't know if there's stocks replenish or what, but I reckon it. I, I could manage with it and actually probably really enjoy it, but that's not where we find ourselves. Ryan, Squidge, yes, you shall be ghost lurking, Squidge. <laughs> I appreciate it. Got to get, got to get those flexes in, even if it's scary to do so. Uh, <laughs> um, but thank you, thank you, Squidge. Um, how you doing, Ryan? Yeah, it's hump, hump. They call it hump day. Um, but it's not for you, Ryan, because uh, Friday's your Monday, right? You said. I believe you said. So does that mean this is at, this is Wednesday and Thursday? It's your weekend. Is that what that means, Ryan? It's actually your Saturday today. So it's Wednesday is a good day for you. Uh, but anyway, how you doing, guys? I hope you're well. Um, what's going on? Uh, not too much. Uh, anything worth mentioning? Did I make any notes or anything? Oh right, yeah, I could mention this. This will get a little. Uh, Sunday part one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You, okay. Either, uh, either. All right. Okay. <laughs> You're not at work today, Ryan. That's 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 uh that's good. Well, I hope we don't distract you too much. We've got stuff to do. Um, need to take care of in the household. Um. <clears throat> um. Have a look at this. Uh, Red Mage shared a couple of things, which is good. Good for him. Thank you, Red Mage. Keep him in the loop. I'll find it now. Is it general? Oh no, uh, news and industry. There we go. Yeah. Um. So, uh, apparently, Overwatch Two. That's a funny video. He uh. Yeah, he, uh, shared there. From the uh the girlfriend reviews, they are quite funny. Um. Yeah, I don't. And I haven't looked into this myself. I've never played Overwatch. So I don't know anything about it. But I don't understand what kind of game it is. It's a t team shooter. And uh, you know, beloved. And Overwatch 2 has recently been released. And there's a lot of fans who feel that it's no different to the first game. Like, there's like... 
I don't know if they've like, maybe switched around a few characters. Added in a couple of new characters. So maybe taken a few away. But even to the point where the, some of the maps are exactly the same. It loads in and it's like the gameplay's the same. The graphics are the same. The maps are the same. And you're like, oh, I thought this was a new game. No, it's not. It's just, they just, re folks, they just resold you the same game you bought years ago. There he is, the man himself. The devil. Just speaking about you, sir. No, not really. He's not really the devil. But here is he. He's trying to make me do some crazy workout or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, like that. I watched that video um, with my morning coffee, uh, Red Mage, of the Overwatch 2 video. It, yes, so for all, it seems that for all intents and purposes, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's no different. It's literally the same game. They've released the same game and, to and slapped a two on it. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly. Do continue with that, Scott. You, you don't even want to know. It's, I won't even tell you. It's, do you know, it's like... I don't mind if a sequel has identical gameplay mechanics, but the content is different. Does that make sense? Um, you know, the Final Fantasy games, they always, try and ch they always try to, maybe not innovate, but experiment with the combat, the, the tr tr you know, tried and tested turn-based combat system, don't they? They'll add something new. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes they'll be like, oh, it was just an experiment, and they feel overall it wasn't for the best. Um, you know, like, you know, and they, they never shied away from that. But, like, um, maybe it'll take, um, one of the early Resident Evil games. Yeah, they've improved the graphics from one to two and added some new elements of how things function. Um, but it's basically the, the, the gameplay is identical, the, you know, but the content is completely different. You're in a diff you're different characters. You're in a different area. Um, you know the story is an ex the story continues. The world building continues. Uh, the enemies, the antagonists, are different. There's different stuff going on. It's mechanically the same game, but it is you know in terms of content, what you're doing, it's completely different. It's the, it's the next. It's the sequel. <laughs> you know. Uh. Apparently, Overwatch is not that. And then, you know, people say, oh, but it's, uh, it's a multiplayer game. It's, it doesn't have content. It's just the content is the game. We'll put it this way. Like, Call of Duty gets a new Call of Duty every year, doesn't it? And, um, um, you know, mechanically, it's practically identical each year. But there's a twist. You know, you might have, uh, oh, this, this Call of Duty is in World War Two. This Call of Duty's in outer space. <laughs> this Call of Duty's right. It, it's got some zombies. I think that might be all the Call of Duty's. I don't know. Uh, you know what I mean? But from my understanding, Overwatch Two is basically the same game. <laughs> Here you go. It's the it's mecha it's graphically identical, mechanically identical. You're running around doing the same gameplay on the same maps with the same characters. How, how is it... In what way is it a sequel? Does anybody know? I, I, I think, that, like I say, they just added a couple of new characters. That, I think that is all they've done. Um, but who knows? Gav, how you, do, how you doing? Um, yeah, no... <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. But yeah, I, I, you know, that's, say, that's just my... Uh, you know, if that's what they want to do, and if people want to give them money for that, that's perfectly fine. Um, but I don't know. It's, uh, I like the video, Red Mage, is what I was getting at. Um, <laughs> it's a good video. Good video. They are uh, they're appropriately amusing. Um, what else? Um, yeah, Red Mage. I can't do that crazy workout you gave me. Probably just because I'm weak. But uh, mostly because I, um, I don't have a medicine ball. So, you, I don't know. You'd have to like find something else to replace that. Um, I could give it a go. But I'm, I, my my level of fitness is not up to your your standards, Red Mage. Um, <clears throat> yeah, no, it's funny. It's a, 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 a re review videos. I feel that either you've got to be very uh, detailed and technical, or they've got to have a good sense of humour and look at it from the um, 
kind of the, the industry uh, perspective. Um, my brother's cat. I put any amount of pressure on my brother's cat. It would die, Sky. Um, so... <laughs> Um, no, yeah, no, indeed, Red Mage. I know it's like for overall physical fitness, it's like one of the best things you can do. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if we can maybe like we'll work around it. That's no, a good idea because I, you know, I do think I do I consider that sometimes, Red Mage. It gets like stuck in my ways. Um, because it's like, oh, once a week, oh, it's I've got to work out, I don't want to do this, so let's just get on and do it and force my way through it. And it's like too much effort to like think of something new to do so i just end up doing the same old thing which is definitely not a bad thing but you know i do i do I, you know, i'm tired and worn out when i'm finished but i'm not like necessarily eh, could i've given more uh <laughs> gav says the says the karate champion <laughs> he's like ah oh, fitness i just punch it in the face <laughs> uh <laughs> i just i just kick it <laughs> um Going for G oh Jesus Christ. Um calm yourself, Red Range. What do you think I am? Over nine thousand? I don't know about that. Um, uh, <laughs> um I would love to do that, uh, Ryan. Uh <laughs> my taste buds would be the uh would be the fittest. That is that is true. Uh <laughs> Um, and uh, Red Mage, always with, stay on top of it for me, I appreciate it. Um, shared another video, uh, from, uh, Yong Yi, um, is broken down the, so people might have heard, caught this, past couple of days, I think it's less than a week old. Um, the voice actor who did, did the voice of Bayonetta in the first two Bayonetta games, they're making a third game, beloved series, um, I've never played them. The first one is on my list. Um, just to check it out, because I heard it's real good. Uh, apparently, um, they, the company, approached her and said, hey, do you want to voice Bayonetta again in the third game? This, this is just, I've not watched the whole video, and this is my, my interpretation of it. If, you know, there's probably more nuance to this. And she said, yes. And they said, this is how much we're paying you. And she said, no. No, you have to pay me a lot, lot more than that. And they said, "Oh no, we're not going to do that. We're gonna, we're gonna hire somebody else then." And then she, she, took to social media to basically cry about it. Um, pre essentially, not only be like, you know, boo hoo, I've been wronged. Um, you know, the 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 company's mean. Um. But also, actually, you know, bring uh, uh, establish a call to action for people to boycott the game. Don't buy the game because they were mean to me. Uh, and at first glance, pe uh, people were a bit like, "Oh, that is mean. Why are they being mean to her?" Um, turns out there's far more nuance to the story. Um, uh, Arcana, how you doing there, buddy? Um, yeah, hold don't <laughs> fit. I can. I'm into a fit nursing guy. Whole donut into my mouth in one go. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing there, bro? Welcome in. Um, you're only three minute rounds, Gav. <laughs> hey, look. Just the fact that you can get up there and do that is. Uh, yeah, that's 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 a level of fitness. You don't look unhealthy to me, sir. Do you know what I mean? Um. Um. So I don't know. I just. I think. Uh, my point is you should take uh, everything with a grain of salt that you hear. Like, she claimed that they were only offering her $4,000. Now, apparently, it's $4,000 per recording session. Of which there would be five to do the whole game, apparently. So, they're actually going to be paying her upwards of $20,000. But she's taken to social media going, they're only going to give me four per, per day of work. <laughs> Um, now, there's a couple of issues with it. One, this is what it says to me, is that I, you are a private entity, you're a self-employed private entity, and you're, um, doing work with a the company. They are offering you work, you're trying to negotiate a price, and the negotiation failed. 
what, what, how unprofessional is it to cry about it and stomp your feet and be like, no, give me more money. You know, they're just, they have no obligation to do that. You know what I mean? They don't owe you anything, lady. <laughs> that make, you know what I'm saying? My God. Um, it's, it's very, uh, it's very weird. Um, and then not only to, you know, take, it's, it's one thing if you're unhappy about the situation, but to take to social media, to rally a, you know, a cause behind you and then ask people to, that you should, hey, folks who don't know me, you should, buy, you should not buy that game. Because they were mean to me. How were they mean to you? Well, they didn't give me enough money. Oh, what? They didn't pay you? Oh, no, I just wanted more money. I just wanted more money to be paid to me for the work. But they didn't want to pay you that. No, but they should. <laughs> it's like, what? But let's look at that. If, uh, now, I don't know how much voice actors get paid, but let's think about it like this. If you're getting £4,000 for a recording session, a single recording session can't last more than a single day, right? Now, I don't know how long a voice actor's like recording session is, but I assume it's less than a full eight hours day of work because, um, you know, it's quite demanding speaking for a long time, especially if it's been recorded and uh, you, um, you know, that it's got to sound good throughout. So I assume the sessions are shorter. Maybe it's only six hours. Maybe it's only four hours per session. I don't know. But let's let's take the outside assumption that it could be a full day's work. Eight hours of voice acting in a single day. That would still mean she's getting paid $500 per hour. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that seems like a pretty decent hourly rate to me. Oh, it is. I'll pay her $500 per hour. What, what am I doing? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> People do like far more dangerous, dirty, extreme jobs than voice acting for a lot less money than $500 an hour. Do you, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. So even if it was like significantly less money than she could been paid previously and she felt jilted, make a decision, love. You know what I mean? You don't have to take... No one's making you take the job. Um... Let's compare. Now, you know, renowned world fantasy author, Squidge, just uh, the audio version of the Iron Crown has recently been released. And she's, you know, Squidge is self-published. She reached out to an independent voice actor uh, to narrate her novel and presumably do, like, some level of voice acting for the dialogue of the characters. Now, I don't know how much Squidge paid this gentleman, but I assume it's not $500 an hour. I assume it's nowhere near that. Because how long would it take to read all of that and make it sound good? A lot longer than it would to narrate the dialogue of a protagonist of a video game. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. I don't know. The whole thing. Anyway. Seven. How you doing? Sorry, I'll catch up with you. That was my rant. All I'm saying is, I think, I'm not like, yo, go industry. The gaming industry is awful. Like every other I industry, you know, capitalist corporation, that their bottom line is just to make money. Of course. But, you know, don't be like, meh. That's like, I don't know, it's really like... It'd be like, um, okay, I don't know, this might hit close to home for some people, but if um, Twitch decided, all right, guys, it really sucks, but from now on, we're going to give we're gonna give you less money. There's, you know, there's subs you're getting 50% off. You, so the, the revenue splits down to 40% now. Now, a lot of people be up in arms about that. As I, I would be, like, pissed off. But then there's a lot of people be like, you owe us. You know, the, the platform doesn't owe us anything. Nobody has to be here. Do you know what I mean? I don't... Uh, Legion Cage. Still t no, too scared to play. What are you talking about, Cage? I'm scared of shit, son. Actually, I am. That's not true. But <laughs> it's called... Uh, it's the start of the stream, Cage. It's called Isnib Brants about nonsense and pretends he knows things. Um, anyway, I'm going to catch up on you now for a second. 
Damn, yeah, Scotty, we've got back onto it. I know you said that. You're going to think about that. Just all I'd say, Scotty, is because you're doing fantastically with your diet, sir. You keep that going. It's baby steps. It's slow and steady wins the race. And, you know, you just, yeah, do that treadmill. Just walk on that treadmill. Whatever you want to do. Where, you know, leave a little bit. A little bit. Infinitely better than nothing. Good on you, Scotty. Getting after it. Um... Uh, cheeseburger omelette, omelet, I mean, why not? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of sad, Red Mage, that you've lost the original voice actress, but I don't know, her, her, I don't know the detail, but her response to the situation just seems like weird that you would do that. Um, I don't know. But how, how are you doing today, Seven? Are you well? Um, Yeah, because that's the thing. It's very easy, Red Mage, to be like, oh, someone said something. You're like, oh, evil corporation. And then you actually do a bit of digging. And you're like, oh, actually. Huh? Hang on a minute. Just just because they're an, an evil corporation doesn't mean everything <laughs> that everything they do is completely evil. You know what I mean? It's like... Because, you know, because you wouldn't have anything to do with them in the first place, then, would you? But, um, yeah, six-figure paycheck up front plus royalties. But that's the thing is, Ryan, of course, that's we all want that. We all want that. But if the company goes, uh, no. You, know, you, that, you can't... If you're trying to negotiate a contract of payment for work, you know, work provided, payment rendered, um, and the negotiation breaks down, you, as a professional, whatever, you just accept that. You just have to accept that. Um... You just go, oh, well, I'm not, I'm not doing the work then, obviously. Hey, I need you to do some work. I'll pay you this much. That's not enough. Okay, I'll find someone else who'll do it. Go, no, no. You, I, did, I did the previous work, so it has to be me. But I demand that you pay me more. <laughs> so, I don't know. You had this conversation last night, this seven. <laughs> I mean, catch, I'm sorry, catch up. Um... Yeah, and that's the thing. I wonder if this was like 10 years ago, Scotty, whether she would have done that and what their response would be. There's, there's this the weird cancel culture thing going on where it's like, oh, I am special and I must be treated special. And if I'm not, I'm going to complain about it to the world and then the world who will get behind me. And what, what was her goal to put pressure on the studio from fans being like, oh, that's not fair, pay her. It, it just seems very strange. If you're happy with the work, do the work. If you're not happy with the work, you don't do the work. You go find some other work. I don't... Yeah. Children that never grow up. Well, that... <laughs> I see what you're saying, Scott. I'm a child that never grew up. Right? As you, as you will see, and as we continue into the future, you're like, oh my God, that is him. Is he ever going to grow up? No. Peter panning it up in here. Uh, but, um... You could... I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I'm glad you agree, Seven. I thought you would. Um, no one should be treated like this. You know, there's people in the world right now who are, di didn't eat any food today and didn't, probably didn't eat any food yesterday, and they're probably pretty hungry right now. Five hundred dollars an hour isn't enough for me. It's nice to live in the free, you know, in the first world, isn't it? It's nice. Just take, just take a moment and be like, oh, just reflect on that. Oh, where do you live? Where do you live, lady? Where do you live, isn't it? Oh, I live in the first world. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. No one's trying to, no one's going to be like pointing a gun at me and trying to kill me today. I'm going to eat some food today, and I've got, I live in a house. I've, I've got, a, you know, reasonably comfortable bed. We've got central heating. I can have a shower every day. I can drink coffee when I like. I've got electricity. I've got a PC. We could do streaming and stuff. We could, you know, I've got I've got clean water to drink. Just uh, perspective is it will take you a long way, folks. Um,
No, Arcana. Yeah, that, you got a point there, buddy. Like, if they paid her $100,000 for game one, $100,000 for game two, with royalties for both games, and then game three comes around, it's reasonable that she should assume that... She, but if they come back to her and say, sorry, love, um, we've decided, which we have no obligation to explain our decision to you, but we've decided we want to pay you 20% uh, less money than we did for the previous two games. And I know we, we know that's a shock, and it may seem unfair, but that's what we're willing to pay you. Do you want the job? At that point, you either say, oh, that sucks that you're paying me one-fifth of what you paid me previously but yeah i'll do it or you go ew what are you serious no i'm not doing that end of story you either do it or you don't do it but to be like ew, privily i, I <laughs> i'm owed it give universe give me money Which, i don't know it makes me very angry as someone who doesn't really have very much money i'm you know i'm just i'm just grateful for everything i have i appreciate it that my life could be so much more worse be brutally worse and i don't know if this lady has like spent too much time thinking about that you know i don't know i don't know her background maybe like before she got the bayonet a job she was like homeless heroin addict i'm guessing she wasn't but you know what i'm saying um okay well is that right red mate so it isn't even 500 dollars an hour it's a thousand dollars an hour my god um high class prostitutes don't and porn stars and don't even get paid that much <laughs> what um people be sucking neck for less money than that and not not even decks that one of us sucking and i was like <laughs> yeah only a thousand dollars an hour it's not enough yeah yeah, well, Scotty, what would you do for a thousand dollars an hour? I'm, I'm, I'm here, here, like thinking, oh, what can I think of that I wouldn't do for a thousand dollars an hour? <laughs> um, yeah, Ryan, obviously, Ryan, you're worth more than that, but you know, there's exceptions to every every rule. Um, hey, oh, did you, Gav? So, ah, uh, there we go. So, I didn't even know you did that. So, you're an animal handler on the Sherlock Holmes movie, and you got 300 quid a day. Now, 300 quid a day, that's a lot of money for uh, those in the US there. We could probably assume that's probably about $400. Like, $400 for a day's work, that's pretty damn good. Now, obviously, you know, gav has got to be there all day. He's got to be professional, and he's got to do a good job. That's like decent money. That's like a reasonable money for a movie. Now, if Gav was like, it's not enough, they'd be like, well, fuck off, Gav. We'll get someone else. <laughs> yeah. My God. Um, yeah, get rid of that headache, Seven. Uh, <laughs> Lucy's getting to you. Yeah, Lucy. Poor, poor Lucy. Um... Okay, thank you, Squidge. I, you didn't have to tell us that, but thank you. There you go. Eight, 18 hours worth of work. So for a five set, so it's a rough, a roughly the same amount. So it's actually less, less time. Maybe he's just like super, um, super quicker, like reading stuff. I don't know. But that's, uh, Thank you, Squid. You didn't need to tell us that. Five thousand dollars for for that. That seems very reasonable. Um. So maybe she's like, oh, that that voice. Squid paid that voice actor five thousand, and you're only giving me four. No, twenty, love. Oh yeah. <laughs> Rue, how you doing? Um. Yeah. Okay. So it varies. It varies, uh, Squid. Yeah, and as it should. That's that seems um there's the cage. <laughs> you gotta you gotta build your portfolio first, Cage. You gotta get the chops. Um Yeah, Arcana, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Why are you paying them to build their Lego for them? 
God damn it. This le That's Lego for you, though. You know. Um, you got to voice act and do singing, Cage. And all sorts of things. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. In the amateur voice acting that I've done for Scotty. Um, it does. It takes about double the time to actually do the recording. Because you might misspeak or you have to re-record -re it. Or you just kind of like... Uh, you have to, it's not just speaking, you've got to think about what, how you're enunciating things. Yeah, no, if you, if you are happy and you know it, clap your hands. Squidge, I hope you just did that. You better have. Um, I think I'm almost caught up here, folks. All oh, right, is that what you reckon, Ryan? The ones who are like, "Oh, Bayonetta, I love you, so therefore I also love the voice actress, so therefore I will, I will go and, I'll, I'll go and attack the uh, company for for her." I don't know. Um, check this out. This walking uh, chocobo that Ryan's got on jelly. Um. Was <laughs> How you doing, Root? I hope you're well, Root. Um, a mandatory fun days in the army. <laughs> uh, yeah, Scotty's like, I will sell my body for $50 an hour. Um, I think you're underselling yourself there, Scotty, but, you know. Um, Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, that's, that's my point, Arkan. If she's not happy, she needs to, like, complain to the company. And if they're just like, no, well, no we're not. Because you're a private contractor, aren't you? She's not employed by them. Uh, and I assume there's, like, nothing, no kind of union that she's a member of that she can turn to. Uh, if that's even a thing. I don't know if that even a th You can have a union for contractors. I don't know. But, um... I don't know. Just... I don't know. It's, um... I just feel it's like kind of uh it's a bit like it's not very classy is what I'm getting what I'm saying. Um Oh, Red Mage. Sorry to keep you waiting there, Red Mage. Red Mage doesn't mind being kept waiting because uh, he's uh Oh for nine thousand. So it's not a problem. He just kept waiting there for a minute. Uh that's two minutes ago. I'm all right, I'm always caught up with chat. Let me <laughs> I'm only two minutes behind. I'm getting there, folks. Um, let me get Red Mage's flex. Where you at, Red Mage? Oh, buddy, you've just... Uh, I've taken Aphelene there. God, the, these two have been rolling around on top of each other. One's on top, then the other's on top. There we go. Fifth place, sir. 28th flex. Boom. Um, <clears throat> it's even more insane than regular Christmas, Ron. It's Christmas insanity. <clears throat> yeah, that's the problem, Root. I can understand you feel like you've been jilted. But, um... It's, you know, it's very disappointing. You know, it'd be like um, the gentleman that read uh, Squidge's audiobook. Let's say he does the, the second one for the same, you know, same amount of money. And then the third one comes around, um, you know, and he's like, hey, Squidge, do you want me to do the third one? And she's like, yeah, I do, but I have to pay you like one-fifth of what I paid you before. And then he takes to social media and goes oh my god squidge is not paying me no he wouldn't do that he'd be like oh he'd be surprised he'd be shocked he'd probably be disappointed for his own portfolio that he got did the first two books but he didn't get to finish the trilogy but he would as a professional individual decide do i want to do the take on this work for a lot less money or do i not want to take on this work 
that that's your decisions there now you can take option three be a little bitch about it but it might come back to bite you in the ass later on in you, know, you see what i'm saying it's just my perspective i don't know all the details um Yeah, Root. So, yeah, so they've basically... I don't know how much the pain, uh, the, uh, the new voice actress. Presumably not more. I don't know. You just take a job. If you come after me, if, you, if someone gives me a job, and then people start coming after me because I took someone else's job that they didn't want to do, I'll be like, that's, that's behave yourself. Sit down. Sit down. Behave yourself. Children. I know you're at the children's table, but I, st I do still expect you not to be throwing your food around. Okay. No, I'm not saying she shouldn't speak up about it, but it's a how do you def def it's un how do you determine unfair route? That's my point. Is um, if you're not happy with your wages, whether you have a contracted job or you're you're you know you're being contracted for a specific individual job, quit. The world doesn't owe you anything. The universe doesn't owe you anything. Um, pr other private individuals and private entities and corporations don't owe you anything. If you're not, you know, you're not happy, walk away. You know, it's... Is it unfair? Yeah, life is unfair. Life is unfair. And, you know, and if you're like... Got, <laughs> I don't know how old she is. She's probably, I don't know, she's probably not too much older than me, but... um. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe they can um, get some kind of union together. I can't. I don't know. And they probably should. I don't know. Um, my, from my own experience, guys, I uh, in my first job, I paid into the union. And when I needed the union, there was nothing they could do. So it just left me being like, okay, so I'm like a couple of hundred quid out of pocket that I've given you over the past several years. Can I have a refund? No. <laughs> so, it's, you know, I'm not... You know, maybe, so maybe I've got a slightly slanted view on that, but... Yeah, because it's probably different unions, and it's like, what can they... I don't know. I don't even know how it works. Um, that's the number. Yeah, that is the number, Ryan. Um, no, <laughs> Ryan Gaff. <laughs> Oh no! What a shame. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, Root. I agree in that regard. It's just you know, I, it depends how much one views themselves as an activist. And if she, and if that if you know if you look at it from that perspective, I don't feel that. Okay, I've not even watched the video, so I shouldn't even comment. But the vibe I I got wasn't that she was coming from it as like, you know, as an activist. It was this is not fair to me. It was not like a call that to voice or oh, voice actors should be treated better. Here I am as an example of voice actors not getting treated better. It was like. Woe is me. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, ah, interesting route. No, that makes sense. Yeah, but you know, it is what it is. I just thought it was, uh, I found it interesting. I'm intrigued by that because we're, you know, we're all care about video games here for the most part. And, um, but that's the thing, all, all the time they are, 
made by private corporations, the industry. Um, you know, because all a union is, is like uh, an organization that protects groups of people, um, you know, to go, you know, to potentially come together. You know, here's the thing. Like, if, um, let's look at it realistically, an, an extreme, um, can't, what's, what's the, um, what's the term I'm looking for? Hypothetical situation. Realistic, hypothetical. If, um, if they'd, the work had been refused to be done, and every other voice actor in the entire world was like, no, we're not doing that. We stand with that voice actor over there. The, the game, the studio, would still need somebody to do the voice acting. And they would have to find someone. And if it meant they, they literally couldn't have anyone unless they upped their price that they're willing to pay, they would. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's like if someone uh, comes along and is willing to do my job for less money, should I hate them? You know, only you can determine what is... A value for your own personal time i shouldn't hate that person let him go on with it um that doesn't doesn't affect me if they're going to do the same job for less money i need to find a new job you know, i don't know um no no don't don't, don't apologize Ru. We, that's the thing it's it's important to have conversations and have different perspectives and you've got more insight into it because you have friends who are voice actors yeah, it'd been treated unfairly, I'll bet. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, just like the, um, just how, like, uh, game studios treat their, in, like, in-house employees like shit. How many times have we heard, oh, Bethesda, oh, um, you know, Project CD Red, God knows, they, they crunch, they make them work, like, 70-hour weeks, and they treat them like shit, you know? It's not good, but also those individuals who work there, they have to decide for themselves as an individual. Uh, okay, I'm being treated like shit. What am I going to do about it? Do I stay here and take it? Do I stay here and take it and try and enact change as an activist from the inside or the outside? Or do I just walk away? Um, I, just, I don't know. I just, I'm very opposed to any kind of attitude that feels like, on on some level, that comes, even if it's not intended from the heart as such, but comes across as entitlement. Um, because you know, I'm getting at, we're not none of us here are entitled to anything. We're all lucky to be to exist. We're literally, we didn't have to exist. I don't know about you guys, but I I'm glad that I exist. I'm very pleased to exist. I like existing. Anything on top of that is a bonus. I'm like, excellent, cool. Thank you. Um, and maybe this, you know, this um, people in the world who are uh, they're struggling and suffering so much that, you know, they contemplate the thought that maybe, you know, I'd rather just not exist. I'm not liking existing. But I don't think that's, you know, I'm, you know, I don't, I don't know. Atheline. You would be happy to stop existing. I would be unhappy if you stopped existing. No. Don't do that, Af. I, ref I refuse. Um. Keep existing, please, Af. I, ins I insist, in fact. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna selfishly insist. What are you gonna do about that? Um. Yeah, Bug Thesta. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Red Mage. <laughs> I mean, I'd say, you know, maybe that's not... Um, maybe that in the industry, that's not a good hourly rate. But, like I say, you know, the fellow who did Squidge's work worked for a quarter of that, and he was very happy to, you know, a little more than a quarter. You know. $280 an hour, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, 
four individuals in this uh, existence, so you have to decide for yourself. It's just, I don't know. You know, like Ryan slinged around a lot of gift subs. You know, if I next week, I'm like, guys, Ryan's not slung any gift subs this week. God, he's such an asshole. <laughs> I don't know. That's not that's not a good analogy, but you, I don't know. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. You know, I'm not I'm not against anyone. I'm on everybody's side. You know, if I if I knew that lady, I'd probably sit down with her and get her perspective, and you know, get all the ins and outs of it. But um, I do not. There's too many human beings in the world. Um, yeah. Oh oh, sorry. You have to clap. There you go. Aff. That's not enough. Oh, God. What have I done? <laughs> Thank you. Ryan! That was... I wish I'd not said that now. Ryan! That's not what I meant, buddy. <laughs> so, calm down. Calm down, sir. Calm down. What's he like? Crying out loud. Ryan, that was not necessary. Uh, Figgy, Fallen, uh, Joel, Seven, and Erica. All wonderful people. That's... I think Ryan was planning... I think he's trying to get... On that top, get Steph off that top spot. She's been there a while. Um, right, no more this week, wine. Okay, sir. Um, yeah, no. But if we look at that's true. That's true, root. But if you, I, th I think if we look at things. I don't know. If I, I think, imagine the scenario realistically. Maybe, let's pretend she was never the voice actress and somebody else was the voice actor. Would the game just not have done well? Do you know what I mean? Would it, be, would it, it just would have just been a massive flop? If she, it, you know, is, how, how much of her being involved was the game a, a, an actual ast astonishing success? Because I like good voice acting uh, in video games. But I also don't mind bad voice acting. I will... Jill! Here, take this lock pick as you are the master of unlocking. Um, It's funny to me, do you know what I mean? <laughs> a mediocre a voice acting, I just, you know, it's uh, water off a duck's back. Um, so I don't think it can make... All, I can, a, a, a good voice acting can definitely enhance a game uh greatly um uh, terrible voice acting can enhance amusement of playing a video game greatly um but i can't i've, I've never known voice acting to make or break a game let's like, that's the the witcher 3 Geralt the riv perfect voice acting that's that's Geralt's voice isn't it if anyone's played that game but if he never sounded like that and he just sounded like some other random guy would that would the game be any less i don't think so um so um i don't know i don't know try, i guess that's what i was trying to get across um yeah i know you know i've i've we've also come to frustration before haven't we red mage i've i've kicked off about things that were like meaningless not meaningless but not saying her issue is meaningless but um you know not reacted in the best way that if i'd stopped taking a breath taking a step back and thought about it afterwards um Uh, what's this route? You went go kart racing, and then you got there, and you're like, "Oh, this, this, these are for kids." <laughs> and you're like, "I don't care. I don't. Care. That's cool. Oh my god, that's so cool, route." <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. This is why you uh can't disappear, Af, because you can't. If you uh if you disappear, then you won't be over nine thousand. Will ya? And, um... You know... If you disappear, then, you know, think all the things you can't do. Oh, yeah, Af, when you were... Before you got here today, uh, Red Mage got on top of you. I hope you, uh, don't mind.
Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Blood. <laughs> Such a cool guy. The voice acted in the original Resident Evil. So funny. Um. Um. Yeah. No. Indeed. Indeed. And I feel like they'll put the def route. They'll probably be with the different voice actor in the new game. There'll be there'll be fans who are like, oh, it's not. It doesn't sound the same. It's it's like if we got a new Witcher game that had a different voice actor, you'd be like, oh, that's not. It'd be like if you had a you know you had a a, a new movie that was coming out with a you know, um you know an iconic uh, Italian plumber, and the voice actor wasn't Italian. You know, it'd be like that. You'd be like, oh, what, what's, what, ah, uh, what's this? <laughs> it'd be like that. Um, could have happened to a nicer fellow. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. App. Um, wow. Yeah. Root. So 5 2 is not. Oh my God. Imagine if I went. I'm about 6 2. Uh, got what? That, I think that's ageist. The, the go kart track just assumes that the people who want to go to the go kart track are, you know, uh, hobbits or children. Now, you know. Bilbo Baggins might quite enjoy a bit of go karting but, you know, if he was here now, I'd be like, yo, Bilbo, are you really going to sit there smoking your pipe and tell me that you like go karting more than I do? I would, um... I'd, uh, you know, I'd have it out of him. Um... <clears throat> Like the movie. <laughs> Ind indeed, Gav. Um, sweet tea. Um, I mean, you could put sugar in your tea. Well, I'm not a savage like that, uh, Ryan. But yeah, as, do you, as in like iced tea. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess it technically exists, but it's not really... You don't see it around often. No one really drinks it. Um, it's designed for adults. Now... <laughs> I would contest that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Rue. I, I don't measure myself. I'm roughly. I might be slightly. I think I'm more than that. I don't know. I do, I do seem to feel like I stand quite tall. But, um. <clears throat> um. Yeah, Aff's uh, almost as tall as me. I think it's. Aff Spoon's like 6'5 or something, isn't he? Yeah, my uh, my young uh, uh, stepbrother Jack, he's uh, he's like what is he nineteen now? He, I'm looking up at him. Um, <laughs> of course you can, Root. We d we don't discriminate here. He could be like two inches tall. That, I wouldn't uh, that that'd just be adorable. I wouldn't have a problem with that. Um, <laughs> but yes. Um, it's you know, we, we, you know, we're not heightiest round here. I, I like I like being the size I am, but I feel like everyone wants to be a bit larger than they are. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, really rude. Oh uh, yeah, that's cool. That's that's cool. Nothing wrong with that. Um, this is Matthew. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. No, that's 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 adorable. Yeah, exactly. What well, you know? Uh, best things come in little packages. Not saying we put root in a package, but um, you know. <laughs> yeah, as long as they're not looking, it look down on you, actually, but not in a, uh, you know, not in a disrespectful sense. Um, <clears throat> it yeah, exactly root. It is what it is. You know. We all get a different hand of cards in this life. And some people might have a short card. Some people might have a tall card. You know, it's, it's a bunch of cards. We're going to do, you know, keep your cards. Do do something with them. Um, <laughs> Sky. <laughs> yeah, width of what, though, Sky? You know, <laughs> width of what? I mean, <laughs> um, exactly, you know. It's advantages. 
L you know, lower, uh, lower bait gravity base. <clears throat> Five seven red mage. That's all right. It's you know, you know, less. Uh, you can put more energy into strengthening the your you know, less of the body that you have. Your out your ass, guy. <laughs> It's all right, you know. Um, I once knew a, a a girl who was like specifically into large dudes, like, and it wasn't like a fat a fetish. She just had. She was like, the more of you there is physically, the more I like it because I like you. And it wasn't like some mental illness on her part. It was like a genuine just. And it wasn't like a, a hippy dippy, like, oh, I love everything. Um It was just like a real actual thing. And yeah, God God bless her. Um <laughs> a very uh impressive expanse. Indeed. But yeah, Scotty's working hard. Going good. Anyway. I've been ranting for an hour now, practically, folks. I hope you don't mind. I know you. I know you don't, because you're still here. So, I know some of you, it's a favourite bit. Oh. <clears throat> but yeah, it's not competition, is it? We don't. I don't care how big, big or small people are. You know, if you were, if we saw you small, we can't see you. Might be an issue. If you're so big. That you you know you're disrupting the gravity of the planet might be an issue. Anything in between, it's absolutely fine. Um, yeah, yeah, this is true. This is true, Scotty. It's very rare. Most, uh, the majority of, in my experience, heterosexual females are uh, not into fat dudes. They're they're just not really into that. But there are exceptions. Uh, and there is like a, a, a kind of a line. You'd be surprised. You know, my I, I was like the fat kid when I got with my first girlfriend. She didn't care. She wasn't into it, but she liked me enough that she it was never a factor. She was like, not not an issue. Um So, you know, don't don't worry about that. Um There you go, yes. Red Dwarf on Sunday, Scotty. Are you around for it? That that should help. And if you watched those episodes yet, yeah, um, just make sure you obviously watch them before um before Sunday, so you can catch up. Um, oh my God, Root, I'm so sorry. Go do some work. We'll be around. We're about to start Visage, which is an excellent game. I feel that the current chapter we're on is kind of. I feel like it's dragged on a little bit and i don't think dolores is anywhere near as scary as the knife finger ghost um <clears throat> you should be good excellent sky look forward to it i miss you ray ray bean how you doing yes 100 percent. that's the thing you could be um yeah you know, someone could be like a, a you know an, a, an absolute adonis you know greek god physique but if they have no personality then it's <laughs> then it then you just got a you know a very uh a very like high functioning sex toy haven't you do you know what i mean so that's that's not what you want uh how you doing ray are you well how's lawsy he's all lovely lawsy he's always um he's always liking my tweets bless him is he well um Oh dear, uh, Root, uh, jump in my DMs on um, on Discord, Root. Sling me an email address. You need. Uh, I'm, I'm not like up on Google Drive, but it seems like if you to share files on Google Drive, you need like someone to like add their email, and then it maybe like sends you something to your email just to confirm it's you. So no rush on that, but um, because you still you know, uh, Sunday will be the next lot. Yeah, yeah. So you know. Whatever email is suitable for you to receive that uh, route. Shut up, Scotty. Has no character or personality. That's like the complete opposite of that, Scotty. What are you talking about? Um, 
exactly and it doesn't here's the thing root we're all uh, very interesting people we all have a lot to offer and it doesn't take it takes no effort to be like a good person just be kind respectful uh honest with people and and communicative with people you don't have to talk to everybody but if you want to get along with people talk to them um but are you, are you doing well right he's good is he he's on holiday um excellent okay cool good on him he's well he's probably working hard i know he does work quite a lot um work and school are you hanging in there right well i'm always uh i'm always here for either of you need me for anything uh can I help with anything you just let me know um my god I, I knew I had a good imagination. I knew it. A lot going on up here. <laughs> Scotty's fat ass is up in here. Can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, Scotty, going back to what you said, I've, I'm not like, I think it's because I'm slightly tismy. Um, I'm, I, I, there's been plenty of, I don't always like know when people might be into me when I've been out and about and I kind of just, it glazes over i'm just i don't i don't get it um but as i've got like older and i've got a bit more clued in um over the past few years i've definitely had more guys hit on me than uh than ladies like significantly i i, I don't i don't <laughs> I, I'm, I'm putting out some signal i don't <laughs> um oh bless you ray no, don't you? Do, here's the thing, Ray. You've always got to take care of your real life, and if you're working and studying, you, you know, and you, you know, you probably got a family you spend time with, looking after. Um, but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm here consistently, Ray, for the foreseeable future. I, I'm doing, you know, every, uh, every Monday to Friday, um, afternoons to early evening, my time, early evening, late mid evening. It's nine o'clock, it's mid evening, isn't it? It's worse. Well, it's, it's night time, isn't it? I say. Um, so I'm always around on stream, but you can always get hold of me on Discord or an anything else. I'm always, I'm, I'm fully all in invested. Um, yeah, exactly, Ryan. Exactly. So I mean, you are now is that Ryan trying to say? Look, he's like, ah, oh, is yeah. I'm glad you said that because uh, how many dollars have I given you, sir? So I think you. <laughs> um... <laughs> Ryan, I don't. That you, whatever, whatever you, however you want to earn your money, Ryan, that's up to you. Then that, you do what you got to do, sir. <laughs> but guys, um, yeah, Ray, have you, have you ever heard of or played Visage? You know anything about it? We're all about to get into it now. Um... <laughs> uh, uh. yeah you know yeah exactly and that's what sort of going back to what you know set your own standards you know scott is like 50 dollars is i'm like no too much i'll give you 20 and scott is like no that's not enough is and then you know and the work doesn't happen you know that's you know <laughs> you got you char charge what you're worth <laughs> Every, yes everything is a negotiation it should be but anyway um got all, all these emotes one's got um yes let's uh it's a good haggle oh yeah and it, you know haggling is the best you should do it I, I, it's a shame you can't um It is a shame that you can't uh, just uh, haggle it, haggle it up in real life. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add root to this Google Drive real quick, so I'm not, not keeping them waiting uh, until later. Won't be a sec. Uh, why do I not want to paste? I don't, I don't know. Um, 
paste is control V, isn't it? There we go, perfect. Oh. I would re I just added you as an editor to the drive. <laughs> I'll kind of change that. Uh <laughs> not that it matters. I know you're not gonna Oh yeah, I can change that. Excellent. There we go, it's cool, safe. <laughs> not that it matters. <laughs> It'd be absolutely fine. Here we go. I'll send you the link. I don't know. So I don't know if you need to just click that link and that will take you right there, route, or whether you need to check something sent to your email. But there you go. You should have access now. So I'm not up on these things. Um. Um. Yeah. Get, go do some work, Rue. I'm sorry that we've uh, distracted you for a minute, but I'm also glad. Um. It means it means we're doing something right here. Um. <laughs> Uh, but yes, let's get on with Visage, guys. Um, we, we're almost at the end of uh, Dolores' um, chapter. Uh, thank you for the help and assistance with everyone yesterday. It was... I felt like it was dragging on a little bit. And like, it's explored some interesting ideas. It just like the house got even more mazy. And it was like... Some of the puzzles were kind of... It got to the point where I was like get, just getting more frustrated than scared. Which is not what you really want, you know, just, you, you know, for a game like this. You want to be wandering around, being forced to go places and look at things and... But... You know, but anyway, what we need, and Ryan, thank you for the heads up. There's apparently one more mirror we've not found. So we need to get down into the basement, the storeroom, get our sledgehammer back. And then just explore every nook and cranny of the whole house. Looking for that mirror we've missed. Uh, and also the uh, 50373 uh, code is going to help with that somehow. Um, but yeah, let me let me bring it up. Here we go. Um, Ryan, again, thank you for those five gift subs, bro. You You've done more than you've done a lifetime's worth of support to me, sir. But um, you know, you just keep it going, or you know, or or, or hit it on the head. You know, you do, you you're an adult. You know, you're doing you're an actual real adult, unlike me. You're doing like real adult in. Um, you know, you've got kids, you've got a missus, you've got a job, you've got a house, you've got a car, you probably got pets. You got you got stuff. I ain't, I ain't got any of that stuff. <laughs> I'm I'm just Peter Panning up in here, but I'm pleased to have you here, sir. But you know, where you you whatever you want to do, sir. Um, you know, all funds just uh, at this point they're just kind of just helping me survive, I guess. <laughs> I'm not I'm not buying. Um, I've joked about this before. I'm not buying cocaine and hookers, but then people have said, why not? We want to see that. So I mean, I don't <laughs> I don't want to say about that. Um. <clears throat> You only shape like an adult. We, you, 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 the facsimile of an adult that you are, Ryan, is uh, is doing very well in my estimation. But uh, <laughs> Gav, yeah, you're not a fan either, Gav. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 just hire them. Yeah, uh, you know what I meant. <laughs> right, anyway, here we go. Dolores, go do one. Uh, always... Oh, okay, we can't go around that one, can we? Um... Sorry, one second. Where is the, um... Door that takes us down into the basement? It's not obvious, is it? I know getting... It's, yeah, no, it's the uh, it's the weird corridor. Yeah, it's right here, isn't it? Is this what this mirror I was just literally looking at right there? Yeah, this the, the swirly corridor, Twi the twisty corridor. Yeah, I mean, if we get to the point of the hot tub stream, Ryan, we might as well go all out, hadn't we? I don't know. It'd take a while for us to get to that point. <laughs> I do love this effect. It's very cool. I mean, it's not the very first time I've seen that use in video games, but um, it's well done in this. Right, here we go. 
Back downstairs. Wait, is that? I thought. Well, as we were loading in there, that mirror was not uh, broken. But yeah, is, hang on, isn't that? This is the what? This is the random door that's locked, isn't it? Right. So I don't know if that's just a red herring or that's clearly not the way to go at the minute. Now, do I need to be running around with my, um, the baby monitor out or anything? I don't know. Okay. Okay, here we go. It's not this mirror, is it? No. Oh, it can't be just a random mirror, because all of the other mirrors have been that specific mirror type, haven't they? Right, okay. There's a mirror. That was the Jesus. Um. And there, here we go. I don't know what kind of dark. But... Okay, there's only dark for a second. Although, I guess I should be, um. Checking. Oh. Okay, and this was the yeah, this was the mirror to the playground, which is now blocked off. Curiously, I guess maybe that's just a little help on on their end to just let you know that you, what you did here, you've done. You don't need to come back here. And you're like, okay, cool, thank you. Um, should I? I'm, not too, I'm carrying too. No, I'm not carrying too much junk. Um, I'll just use this candle briefly. I guess I was getting at. I'm gonna just put that there. Not that they're coming this way, but there's like literally no point otherwise. Um There we go. Um okay. Keep an eye out for a mirror anywhere, folks. Mirror a large mirror on a wall, which we need to smash the shizzle out of. Okay. Not there. Now Yep, not not in there. It might be in the cupboard or something. Do you know what I mean? It could be, it could be anywhere. It's not all the way down. It surely wouldn't be down where um the basement's basement is. Like that's the kitchen where she like whacked us one and we made her tea for her. So you're gonna have a mirror within one of the mirror rooms, are you? That would be like too weird, presumably. Right, that's the way back up the stairs. That's the mirror that got us to the comp that got us the compass. That's down to the gun. That's blocked off, no. Oh What the Was she just chilling there? Was that a was that a bug? This freaking scared me. Anyway, I don't I don't know what to say about like that. Oh my god. Ease up, love. Right, okay, this is just a dead end up here. And then we've got we've gone full circle. Let me just check back here. It's a little boiler room. Oh, behind the door. No. Oh, got another lighter. And pills here. Oh, sweet. Um, any space for any of this? Guess probably the pills might be more useful. Right, and that's where this... That was the swirly corridor we came down. And here we got the electric room. Right, light bulbs. Right, that's the breaker box. Okay. So, um, let's 
check that. Wouldn't be in there. No. Um. What was on the floor? Oh, that. I mean, that would. I mean, it, I would hope it would at least be obvious if it was. Uh, route. Um. Yeah, I was asking too much. I don't know. I would like to think I would have. You know, tripped over it. I'm just gonna. I don't think it's in here. Let me just head down here just to check. I think this is like meant to just put across this is own. This is its like own area, regardless of uh, of chapter you're on. Um. Okay, I've got a save point running in here. Nah. It's too dark to see, but this is not, this is really not it, is it? Okay. So as far as I can tell, there's absolutely no mirror in the basement. Or at least this section of the basement we can get to. Um, so I guess we're heading back the way we came. Back upstairs and start searching around up there. See, that, I mean, that's a mirror, but it's like not. I mean, it, it'd be like the game to. Whoa! God. It'd throw a curveball at us, wouldn't it? Um. Although now I've picked up this lighter. We've, uh. I've thrown it on the floor to actually use my hammer. Not in the basement at all. Okay, cool. Well, we, we confirmed that, Ryan. Because you probably know where it is, but... Obviously, I want to feel that um, I have absolutely uh, checked everywhere myself, you know, before we come to it. Yeah. Uh, 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 Mrs. Kabusi. How you doing there? Welcome in. Um, big note for you. You played the first time yesterday. Oh my god, how far did you get? It, yeah, it, it's intense. It's an intense game, isn't it? Um, I'm not too... I'm mostly not really affected by most games, but this game is it's gotten me several times to the point where I'm like... Like, re really? Really? It's, it's, it is a, a whole thing. It's a whole vibe. Now, the chapter we're on at the minute... It's been a lot of running around backwards and forwards, and I've got a little bit frustrated with it in some regards. So it's kind of taken the the sting out of the the horror aspect. I feel for me personally. Um, but you know, it's still getting me at points. Uh, but I'm sure we're very close to wrapping up this chapter. Right there, we go. That was to the baby. Um, it's obviously not in here. Uh, <laughs> excellent. Uh, but yeah, you got to, haven't you? You know what I mean? It's, um, but yeah, uh, so be careful. Oh, oh, hang on. What? What have, I, what have I just found? Um, yeah, so be careful of spoilers. That's... Oh, my... Oh, the Omega box. Holy hell. Oh, on our little doll there. I'll take that. Um... Wow, okay, this is not what I was expecting. We got the key though. Oh, cryptic handle. That is the same symbol to get into that uh back in the basement. Open up that um Open up that weird trap door. But that's not specifically what we're looking for, is it? How curious. Okay. 
They've got some mirror frames here. No actual mirrors, okay. Right, down to the uh, garage. It's kind of dark in here, isn't it? So maybe uh, I've just not uh, looked around properly. But yeah, um, Mrs. Kabusi, yes, my name is Isnib. Call me Is. Uh, if you like, or some ver interesting variation, as long as it's uh, respectful. Uh, but yeah, do be wary of spoilers if you want to get back to this. And if you don't, then, you know, you can uh, watch me crack my pants instead, if you like. <laughs> um, I think we would need to use the vice gun, because that's blocked off there. Yeah, sanity's decreasing. What are we going to do, eh? Get in the light for a second. Oh, it's not. You want to smash the that mirror or something with the hammer? That would be insane. Okay. It's time to drop that. It's trying to box some pills. down to the basement we could go and check that handle now i mean if we wanted to that's not what we're really looking for is it but should we go check it now maybe we'll wait until we get out of the chapter that kind of makes a bit more sense to me right okay here we are in the main in back in the house that's where we uh, exited to uh, from the basement. Checked everything up that way. This mirror here was to the um, the clock puzzle, <coughs> where we found the baby monitor. Right, okay, that's through to the kitchen. Right, this is back in the original mirror room, wasn't it? Which I'd think, oh, maybe it'd be in here. That's, that door's jammed. No mirror. <coughs> um. Yeah, no, fair enough. Absolutely fair enough. Okay. Okay, that's blocked off into the kitchen. We won't head upstairs yet. Let's keep looking around downstairs. Alright, TV room. No mirrors here. There's a mirror there that we've already smashed. That's the wall. Oh, what? <laughs> oh! She like <sighs> okay well we've not lost anything we've got a little low always save at some point that's when we went down to the basement i think i might need to go and get the use the omega, omega key again but um yeah we've not lost anything we were just gathering knowledge there so that's not gone anywhere is it oh Oh, hell. It's like literally right here. We got it. Okay, cool. That's nice. Let me save this lighter a little bit. Okay. We don't need to go around through the uh, the garage there because we know there's nothing there. Okay, let's head through from the kitchen direction. This one spawned in here. She's right there, but also... <laughs> I don't see what's going on. I was just... 
which seems to be working properly. Just wanted to give you a little scare, didn't it? Okay, there we go. That's fine. I don't mind a little scare. It's fine. That's a window, not a mirror. Okay. So presumably still can't go outside. There's a kitchen. No mirrors in here. That's a bl blocked off door. That's the other side of the basement, isn't it? Um, right, okay. So, as far as I can tell, guys, we searched all of the ground floor. The first floor, if you if you prefer. Um, so we're heading upstairs, right? As a is it the bathroom cabinet mirror? But surely that's not the mirror mirror. Okay, and this is backed into uh, unless, it, unless it's that mirror. I'm sure we I'm sure we tried whacking this mirror, didn't we? I'm sure we did. Um, I have to ditch this light, aren't I? Um, yeah. Definitely not that mirror then. Okay. Right, through here is the mirror into where George was. That got us the um the the, the uh you, uh, IV bag. Okay, going to Sarah's room. Not a mirror there, is there? I just can't see it. Nah. Imagine just putting a candle there, just under these clothes. <laughs> No mirror that I can see in Sarah's room. Yeah, too dark up here for me. It's not much of a mirror, that is it. Um. Oh. Good call. Go. Making progress now. Just got nooks and crannies, folks. That's what you need. And there's the baby monitor. It's letting us know we need to. Oh, we've got baby monitors everywhere. I don't like this at all. Five, two. Five, zero, oh, it's a five o'clock. Can we get back to the start? If, five, if we assume that we got zero, five correctly three, there by accident, let's assume seven, zero is twelve, right? Three, five, zero, so this would be three. three, seven, three five, 
that one. Do we even need the baby monitor at this point? Three. So it's o'clock. This should be the one. Oh jeez, what are we walking into now? music maybe don't touch that Ru, it's awful <laughs> so did the what i wonder what happened to the baby that's the real tragedy of this story isn't it obviously nothing good but maybe it was just literally maybe she didn't kill it maybe she just like left it do you know what i mean she killed her husband killed herself and then just the baby's like where figure it out baby figure it out on your own who knows i don't know and yeah we're uh we're in the squishy world now Oh my god. Baby's crying is like well, literally one of the worst sounds you can hear. Going back the way we came. Okay. We've got another uh, umbilical cord here. It's leading us where we've got to use that phonograph. Maybe. As it's there, it feels like maybe it's supposed to. Yeah, it's taking us uh, back upstairs. As we're here, like, as we're like literally right here, why don't we... Does she really have to be standing stood there right now? Uh, I wonder if she, she's going to get us if we... Okay, let's, let's check this out at the end of the chapter. Uh... <laughs> Is that a bad one? Stepping on the doggo's tail, Gav? 
I'll bet. But uh, surely the dog goes like, <gasps> ah! I guess the dog goes don't sound like that, but <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Uh, has it gone? Has she gone away? No, she hasn't. What a bitch. Uh, but uh, I assume it's just, like instantaneous, and the the dog goes really upset, you know, and they you know, but like a baby's just like constantly going. Yeah. Yeah, horrible yell, which sounds awful. But it's like, it's done. And you're probably left feeling guilty afterwards, but. Yeah, you want your child. Um... Bring me my child. So we've got the phonograph handle. Now, where have we seen the a phonograph? Is it back up in the master bedroom? Oh, it's showing us. It's telling us where to go. Okay, we'll listen to a tape afterwards, I guess. Oh, it's... Hey, baby. We're picking it up and bring it to get, take it as well. Need both hands to perform this action. Okay, we've got to drop the hammer then, haven't we? Um, I'll just trade trade up. Here we go. Come with us, baby. Wow, is it? Is it dead? Well, of course he's... Oh, God, oh yeah, it's not looking too healthy, is it? Oh, no, it's making noises. God, this is dark. should be giving this baby to her but I guess we kind of have to <laughs> it's moving and breathing it doesn't, doesn't look too healthy though my god yeah exactly exactly Ruth. oh Jesus is gone yeah, gee, Jesus had enough. He's like, well, I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. Ah, there we go. And there's that moon. I'm sorry, Jesus. And the moon stuck in his back. Yeah, he, <laughs> Jesus slept. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. Uh, you know, as I'm sure he would have. If he if he could have, do you know what I mean? Right. Oh my God. I'm um. I can spring a leak. Let's um. No, no, Dolores. No. I'm gonna go this way. We're gonna hang out there, my dear. We're gonna go this way. Right. That's on you. We're just trying to be cool. Jeez, Louise. Right, okay, let's listen to this little tape we got first, get a bit more insight. I wonder where the music box key is. I mean, unless that's what we're going to get. Maybe that will get us into that. I don't know. Either way, let's listen to the uh, little tape first. I now fear for the baby. She has become obsessed with him. Oh. She says she can always hear him cry over the baby monitor, even when it's off. 
She has trouble differentiating him from the dolls in the house. Oh dear. Once she threw a doll away, realizing it wasn't the baby. I am horrified at the idea that she might do the same to the baby, thinking she's holding a doll. I've got rid of all the dolls in the house, and now she keeps on calling him, never remembering where he is. I have to keep a constant eye on both of them. The only time I can get some work done is when she's sedated. <sighs> it feels like a nightmare. No doubt. Okay, let's store that in there. Right, okay. Time to uh, summon the, the, the ghost baby, I guess. Oh, I guess there's the key to the music box. That's everything we've done is to get in, up to this point is to get us into that box. <clears throat> what special tea is? Yeah, yeah. What's that? What? 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 Even, why? Uh, why is even that a thing? Root that it's. Uh, It's like, oh, just to let you know, the auto save didn't work. And you're like, uh, okay, thanks for letting me know. Is, is that a bug or are you just saying? <laughs> that's, the, that's the first. That, yeah, it's like, hey, the game hasn't saved. Were you aware? <laughs> ah, I think this is a record. The vinyl disc. Oh yeah, so a little flower there I can pick up. Um Now where is the phonograph? I know I've seen one around. It wasn't just like in the mirror world. I just don't remember exactly where it was. Um God I'm sorry guys, I might spring a leak. Um I'm gonna run out for a second. I'll be right back. Right. Let's let me think for a second. Um definitely won't be in Sarah's room, won't be in the bathroom. Pretty sure it's not in John's room. I think it was it's not just stuck in the TV room, is it? 
I don't know. I've seen it somewhere. Wait, it's not in the uh, study, is it? No, it's just safe. We still need to get in there. I know I've seen it somewhere. Sure, it's not the kitchen. Yeah, I'm in that little storage room. It's not in the um. As if that matters. <laughs> not um back down in the basement is it assuredly not in here I'm sure, I know I've seen it somewhere maybe not like even in this chapter it's not one in the garage, is it? That's fine. Well, um, so it must be like down in the like the rec room in the basement, that kind of thing. I'm sure. Must be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank that coward seven. Yeah, how's, how's your day going so far, Seven? seen it somewhere. So we go, I'm going to put the record on there. And I'm going to crank it. Here we go, folks. Save. Oh, I've got a save point. Everything is built up to this in this chapter. Whatever this is. This door here. I wonder if we can get through to the basement in a minute. I'm just ignore that. Probably not. But can I just drop that now? Yeah, screw that crap. Don't need that at all. Allows us to leave us alone for a minute. Okay, so we know where to go. Is she not staying around over here? Is she? No, she's not. Cool. Baby monitor's now stored. Okay, oh, that's fine. Let's give this a go. Oh dear. What am I, what am I looking at here? Wait. Jeez. You risk it. There must be a way back up, yeah? 
Let me, let me do a save or something just in case. I'm saving a different slot there. Yeah, I had a weird, weird headache as opposed to a non... Okay, it probably isn't a good time to explore that way. Okay, it wants us to wait until the chapter's over. Okay. That's fair. Okay, we'll come back down there when we get the uh, opportunity. Um... Yeah, I mean, he I mean, as opposed to a normal headache. Seven. Okay, let's see what the bloody hell's going on over here. Oh, okay, we're assuring it up in here. Where we're trying to head to. Something sounds not good. Have you been checked out for that? What's going on over there? Is that Dolores over there? Let's look on that. I don't care that you're crazy. You're a pain in the ass. She stood in the hall of the house. Something at least seven. Obviously, it's not on a deal, but. Oh! Walk towards where the music sounds good, I guess. There. I wasn't sure what the trick was there, but... Doing dishes there. That's fine.
Oh. Okay, I wasn't. I think I was meant to do that. <laughs> Eating myself off there. Okay, no, that's not a thing I meant to do. <laughs> I got that. I was somewhere. I kind of just assumed that you maybe you couldn't like fall to your death because we're already dead. But you know what I'm saying. Uh, oh my god. Okay, we've got a little checkpoint now. Help if I um I feel if I had some clue on where I was actually supposed to be going. I'm gonna um I'm just gonna eat myself. Just uh reload that safe. Yeah, you've definitely gotta follow the sound of the music. Uh it's not always obvious. Sounds like it's coming from that direction. In my headphones, at least. I suppose she's doing additions, but I'm sure I came around from the other way. It's 
previously. We'll prong that one. I guess. That's maybe that's what threw me off. Cribs up now. Um, that <laughs> yeah, in, indeed, indeed, seven. That's that's what it'd be about. Oh my god, that's where we're at. Okay, and that's allowed us to get to this room here, which we've previously seen into, but had not uh, been able to do. Okay, now, oh, am I looking through the the spy hole? Yeah, okay, can't look through that one. About what? This is going to reveal the true story to us. that's up in the attic isn't it so if she did something to the baby because the baby was fine then it started crying or she just literally just left it so who knows it might have just died stayed there and died of starvation or either way not good is that the end seems to be the end okay okay we're back. Kind of. There we go. That's Dolores' chapter done. Leaving reality behind. Yeah. Indeed. I, I kind of feel bad for her, but... I don't do. Um, indeed. Indeed. We could take the videotape, I guess. Uh, negligence. Uh, not that you get too much from the videotapes, but... I guess we'll have a look. Can't use that here. 
something. Oh, the, the, go over it. So like, there we go. Negligence. That's all it. Oh, what room is that? So, um, she either did something to the baby to hurt it, uh, or didn't, Root, and then she just hung herself. I think she just basically just left it. So the baby was just there on its own and just... Now, how long can you leave a, a, a little baby on its own before it just no longer is alive? Do you know what I mean? Probably, um, probably not too long, I'm guessing. So the real question, of course, is how much, um, yeah, I don't know where that is either. Yeah, that seems to be it. Um, yeah, so, um, again, is her, was, was she just mentally ill or was the, you know, the, uh, heebie-jeebies of the house? Uh, something, you know, somewhat, uh, related, you know, influenced her. Either way, what happened in her story essentially was she went crazy. Eventually she killed her husband and then killed herself and then just left the baby there to expire. Um, right. Okay. So before we start our next chapter, we're picking up the crutch. You can shut up. Um, let's head down to the basement. It's going to be weird having, like, normal access to the basement again. We're going to check down here. So this is under your house. <laughs> what? I guess it's not really under your house because. Wait, we just stepped into Resident Evil. Um. So nothing to do about that. Periodic table. It's got a lab or something. Oh, documents. Can't really uh, read that probably. No, this text is far too small for me to read. Getting gassed out right now. <coughs> Excuse me. I might be something important though. I don't want to just run away. If we end up dying. Asphyxiating. Staff list. Oh, okay. Project status ongoing. Chemistry lab. Uh, Andrew Smith. Peter Peter Peterson. James Ramirez. Matt Baker. David Robinson. Ah, Dwayne Anderson. Working. Level of effort. Hours. 67.5. That's the same as everyone else. Complete 100%. Estimated start date, April 1952. Estimated end date, unavailable. Actual start date, April 3rd. 
How curious. Yeah, don't worry, bro. We just die. We'll come back down here and check again. Oh, is this all climbing up on here? For what reason? I'm not too sure. Changing the world something together changing the world together right eh? uh, yeah, I think I assume we're gonna die oh, okay shipping hmm. we're not gonna die we're just gonna do loads of drugs I don't know you seem to be able to climb up on here self sprinkler system is it Not that, just some water would, uh... Oh, a stool. It feels like it, doesn't it? Right. Okay, let's um. Clearly, we've got to do something with a stool, right? Smash a window? I don't know. Give it a go. Um, but yes. Um. So that's if that's got anything to do with it. It could it be that this uh, house? They uh they knew it was uh. Somebody somewhere knew it was like ghostly and uh it's like oh let's study it let's do it let's stick a, a secret lab in the basement and we'll just study the people who live there <laughs> um no no um but I, you know i want to i want to find out do you know what i mean it's um i'll, I'll try going down there again Gives you plenty, it gives you, it does give you plenty of time to have a, have a go trying to figure out what's... Okay, so I'm not going to look in cupboards and pick up pieces of paper. But, um... Let's give another go. It's very clumsy that it would knock that off. Let me confirm that I definitely can't open these doors at all. Okay, you can you pick up all the stools, can you? Smash a window with it? Okay, so what could I actually do with it? That's the question. It seems weird that you should, uh... Okay, so it's not that stool in particular. But it's, um... That looks kind of strange. That's all scarred up there. Yeah, surely we want to get through... 
this window. Unless I need to bring the sledgehammer. Smash that window to jump through there. So, no way to stand on it. Bust through the ceiling or something. So yeah, you, you can move these stools around, but you can't actually like, stand on them or climb on them or anything. I assume uh, there's not be anything in these drawers, is there? How curious. Um, I don't know, guys. It's very interesting that you could allow you to climb up here. And also on that. But, um... And also there's a lighter in here, so that's in itself seems kind of curious. Just climb in there. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't help, would it? I don't know, folks. Anyone's got any ideas? I mean, you come like me though, Af, aren't you, Af? Like, you're just like, oh, that's a person, therefore. Um, I don't know, folks. Um, it's weird that we can climb up here and then we cannot, like, jump up there or climb up there. Light doesn't seem to do anything, even though there's a spare one in here. You can move around the, the the stools, but also doesn't really matter. Just stand on that. Okay, you just can't stand on them at all. You can't like throw them. I thought maybe you could like throw one at the window or something. I guess final time I'll just yeah. Look, there's a bit. Oh, there's a bit of tape on the window there. Um. Yeah, the window looks broken. It has been broken previously. Yeah, we're going to come back with the sledgehammer. I think we're about to die, aren't we? Yeah, it seems like a seven. We're going to die already. Yeah, look, it's freaking tape holding the window together. <laughs> You can't interact with them. I want to get a sledgehammer and come down here. If I mean, if that doesn't work, then it's obviously clear we're not meant to do anything here at the minute. In my opinion. Yeah, you'd um, you'd think so, Root, wouldn't you? I would. I would think so. It's that window. We've got to smash that window. So, uh, was Dwayne involved as a, a scientist here, or was he literally just a test subject? That's the question, isn't it? Or is he just hallucinating all of that? Is that just... Is that just a, a thing? I don't know. Right, okay. Let's get the, uh, the sledgehammer. And, uh... Give it out a go. Um, 
uh, storage room is this way. Third time lucky. Yeah, we used to collect them as kids. Red Mage. Kind of a waste of money, really. <laughs> this doesn't last. Right. Now. Um. Oh, what the? <coughs> you lose your sledgehammer when you get down here. He just vanished. That's a bit cheap. It's clearly the way to go. I can't, uh... Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> Definitely a clue. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know if got any clever ideas. It's supposed to like create an explosion somehow. That's just their computers, right? Can't do anything with them, though. I don't know, folks. We can't like, yank that down, can we? Huh. Uh. I don't know. I can't even uh, interact with these. Something like a loss here, folks. I mean, oh, this wall looks fragile. Okay, um, I'm just gonna kick it. This wall looks very fragile. Okay, well, what you what do you want me to? What do you want me to do about it? Aye. Kick it. Smash it. Are you going to do something about it? Whack. That's the only thing we, in the room we can like interact with. The wall looks fragile. Okay. You stare at him, bro. I don't know, guys. 
Uh, that's a good point. That's a good point, right? It's interesting also there's a lighter in here. No, no uh, it doesn't look like it. Um, it looks like you've basically got both hands anyway, but there's nothing you can really do with it. That's great. That's great. We've clearly got to do something with this, but... We're dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I don't... Like, rotate it and, like, walk into it, I think. I don't know. There's no, um... You can't attack with it. You can't, like, th th you know, just throw it around. You know, in like, some games, um... You know, like, in Skyrim, you can, like, pick something up. Not to have it in your inventory, but just, like, you're holding the physical item, and then if you, like, <clears throat> do a little... And then let go of it, you throw it like that. It's none of that. Um... So disappointed I couldn't take the sledge hammer down there. Huh? Do we want to give it one more go? It's a bit of a cop out as well. Though. It's like, aha, I need the sledge hammer. It's like, no. Maybe we can throw the sledge hammer down there. I bet that doesn't work. I'll give it a go though. Oh. Just random box. Okay. Excuse me. Throw red mage at the wall. Yeah, that would do. That would work. He's hard enough. I don't think it's going to work, but I wanted to, so. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Go on, get down there. Um, yeah, that's not that's not working, is it? Uh, lol, look at that. Um, yeah, block glue. <laughs> yeah, it uh, it doesn't it doesn't want to, does it? It's not even it looks like a, an area below us. It's not really an area till we go there, isn't it? That's what's going on. And you can't store it, can you? Unfortunately. <clears throat> He's so clumsy. How, how is a person even that clumsy? In in this situation, everything you've been through. Oh no! Where's my hammer? <laughs> okay. The fact there's scratch marks on the floor there. And the scratch marks on the desk there. That seems weird. Maybe we got to, I don't know, do some uh, kind of, um, Okay, there we go. Hang on. It's... 
I thought it was going to let me uh, yeah, hold both of those to do rotation. Okay, there we go. Ah! Ah! Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, the scratches on the floor, that's very uh, indicative, isn't it? Of something. What though? I mean, maybe the little wheels. Scratch, scratch, yeah, scratching around on it, but... There's no way... It's weird that there's no way to, like, stand on it. The wall looks very fragile. It's a shame that I'm uh, also very fragile. <laughs> yeah, even if you um, climb up on there. You're not even like stood on it. You can't like probably interact with them that makes sense I beat them up and move them around that doesn't really count for much it's interesting that there's a lighter here though and it's like right in the middle of the room that does seem kind of sus to me Fire extinguisher. I oh, know, I feel like there's something we're missing, isn't there? It's definitely something to do with this area and that over there. Well, something's happened before. It looks like something smashed through that window and went flying across the lab here and kind of broke that a little bit but that doesn't really explain the scratches on the floor <coughs> it seems like maybe you know, you set something up to make something explode or you know do something I don't know. Um, I'm about giving up, guys. Come back to it later, or I don't know. Or we won't. I guess I don't know. I mean, maybe we just keep preemptively, and we there's something we're missing that we just don't have yet. It's very uh, intriguing, though. The fact that we can climb on that as well is a bit sus. You can't move it around. Just climb on it. I don't know, faith food. How you doing? <laughs> Bro, yeah, Ruth just like just burn it burn it to the ground. Um can get lit up i don't know um no seemingly not i can see seven the only things you can interact with is i mean you've got there's a lighter in there there's um there's two uh you know clear that window has been broken but you can't interact with it on the direct opposite side of the lab there's um the fragile wall it's so fragile if only i had the strength to break through it um not fragile enough, though. Uh, you know, there's just plenty of stalls around that you can move around, but you can't interact with them in any other way. Can't, like, stand on them or anything. I don't... I don't know. 
and you can pick up those pieces of paper red mage but you can't like in again you can't interact with them you can't take them with you you can't use them with anything i didn't today fail you well um so yeah i don't know seven i um i feel like i looked at everything i'm inclined to just i don't want to be banging my head against the wall with it it's not a very uh, exciting uh section of the game is it you know what i mean i feel we should uh, maybe just do the next chapter it could even be that we've just gone there preemptively and that's like maybe that's like the final chapter of the game and maybe something will open up after we've done the next chapter um I, who can say i can't but i'm uh I don't know. I uh, just do not know. I'm just going to start the next chapter, I think, guys. Which is this. Um, if someone's got any super clever ideas. Um... Yeah, I'm going to start the next chapter, I think, Seven. Which, I, I don't know what it's going to be, but let's just hope it's more... Less, less maze-like. <laughs> We're going to the mirror maze, like the Dolores's. There we go. We're going to do it. We've got to do it. Yeah, random, random crutch. Helpful, so, you know, if you're having trouble walking. Arakan's chapter, the all seeing eyes. Uh Rakan. That's That's an unusual name, isn't it? I don't know if I've heard that name before. And one thing I can say is uh it's probably nothing to do in there. Because um it's um we could have done this before we started Dolores' chapter. Now, it was a heavy focus um, on uh, in the first chapter on Sarah's room and on De on because of Lucy and Dolores' chapters on the master bedroom. So maybe it's something to do with uh, John's room. I'm thinking too simplistically. Clearly. Oh. I think we found something. Good luck at your meeting there, uh, Root. Yeah, let's hope so. Oh, I hear something making a noise. It's certainly not in here. We've still got safe to get into. Um, let me ditch that. Oh, it sounds like it's coming from beyond that wall. This is down below in the, uh, that's just like in the, down the, just above the kitchen, isn't it? Can you hear that? Though? You go you got uh the cassettes if you want to listen to uh 
George and Dolores again. Yeah, I don't think there's anything upstairs. Uh, Song of Horror. No, I've not heard of that, Faye. versus mirror lovely I like this is a blood stain so you know this whatever this is the final item for this chapter is going to be a it's going to be a body part isn't it maybe his eyes Definitely heard a sound. I've not been down to the basement yet, but listen. On TV. Shut up, you. God damn it, I'm trying to listen. Sounds like something munching on something. Yo, Mike, how you doing? Yeah, you hear that, right? Sounds like it's there. Oh. There's something up in the attic. I've already been up in the attic, but... Look, I guess. I mean, although whether you could, it could be because you. I don't know if you could have gone up, come up here before. Okay, I'm still here, it so. specific point in the uh in the house i can't figure out where it is like right around there somewhere 
Uh, from here, it sounds like it's maybe in here and then maybe downstairs. Now it sounds like it's behind this wall. Now it sounds like it's kind of over in that direction. I don't know. There's something squirming around. Um. Sorry, uh, specs on it. This one? This one. Barkley wall. Back upstairs? Sorry, sorry. There's something wrong with everything in this game. And say so, which which, uh, which wall? It could just be the graphic of the graphical effects. Uh, um, for now, I'll just head down to the basement. It won't even be a thing. It might just be a weird noise. Because you know, because scary must be weird noise. There's definitely a distinct sound I was hearing. Random or not so random lock door. That's our storage stuff. So that's a freaky noise, isn't it? Well, that's just the house whispering to us. I mean, it's like no big deal. Could uh, of course, uh, we'll just jump back downstairs. You know, no, now we start the chapter, it'll be like, no, you can't, you won't let us do that, will it? Right, let's back up to the kitchen. Sometimes you do need a light bulb. Well, I think I feel like it's everything. I feel like we've been around the whole house yet now. Basically, give or take. The only thing that I've noticed is different is this squ squishy munching noise. Very wet sound. It's funny, as soon as I step through into 
from here it sounds like it's right in front of us as soon as I step through the room though it sounds like it's behind us yeah in Sarah's room it sounds like it's there here it sounds like we're Pretty much on top of it. Who knows? Maybe it's not even a thing. I don't know. Um, uh, Nightmare. Hello there. Welcome in. We have just started Rakan's chapter. But I don't know what we're looking for. We've just been doing a what once over on the house. Uh, as far as I can tell. So I don't know, uh... I don't know, we've got this weird noise, though. This wall here. Seven. It's, yeah, it's roughly around here, isn't it? But uh, there's nothing we can do to it, unless I start swinging the sledgehammer around. Randomly. But that there is literally just the bathroom, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not, unless there's something squishy in the wall, being extra squishy. I don't know. No, no, we've not. But we've. Uh, I've been into the uh, the kitchen and the living room though. That's the only thing. I've I've just been around the whole house. Oh, that wasn't there a minute ago, was it? Okay, here we go. Um, uh, PX, welcome in, buddy. I'm I'm well, Mike. How are you doing, bud? Have you uh, got any progress on what you uh, we would, you mentioned to me the other day? Okay, cool. Here we go. We've got a wheelchair. Uh, yeah, sit sit down in it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's do that. That seems like a good idea, doesn't it? The aliens, the aliens got us. Oh my god. <coughs> yeah, well, um, let me know what's going on, Mike, if you want to. It's none of my business, but. And I can't do anything apart from maybe offer some advice. Okay. We are, yes, we are in an older version of the house. This is still the the, uh, the living room, obviously. How much longer ago? I don't know. Maybe significantly? Okay. I'm going to bro side of the table there. Let's get through to him. My shirt on. He's having a drink. Okay. Right. Well, now it let us through. Let me check this way first. That's locked. Okay. Twitchy leg. Is you living in a haunted house, buddy? That's what, that's what's wrong with it. What? What the fuck is this? Oh, 
It better not be what I think it is. Bastards. What is this? Who the fuck are you? Okay. He's uh, a little bit paranoid. Well, not paranoid, because there's pre freaking scientists in the basement, like, watching it all. Um, it's hard to say for sure that the general d demeanor I'm getting is that Dolores' chapter, uh, from what little we've seen so far, is Dolores' chapter happened before this chapter, but maybe this ha chapter happened bef uh, before Lucy's chapter. I don't know, we shall see. Um,. Yeah, I don't know, maybe it was, yeah, he was just a little bug. Or I don't know. Uh, Alright. Yeah. Find me a little fox. What the hell do they come here put all these things? I need to find every last one of them. Okay, where would I have put them? Right, it's slightly deranged. There you are, little piece of crap. You think you can get me that easily, huh? Nice try, you fucks! What the fuck do you want, huh? I'm right here! Those little fucks. You think you can find one of me? Okay. I don't know if that's, uh... Inflicted by them, so to speak, but... Don't you fucking move, I swear to God! Okay. Stop right there. Oh, buddy. Wow, okay. What? Oh. No! Interesting. Right, okay. I guess a little bit of insight, not too much though. Okay, this guy, Rakan. Like I say, I think he lived here after Dolores, but before uh, Lucy's family. That's just the vague vibe I'm getting. He seems to be living in the house on his own. Likes to just hang out, just, you know, with, with no uh, shirt on. Um, And he is either paranoid schizophrenic just he just is or he's uh he's a he's kind of tw somehow twigged on somehow that there's scientists in the basement like monitoring everything um either way he's very paranoid he's got a gun and there's some like freaky uh tall well-built like kind of very dark looking ghost thing that he shot at and obviously it's because a ghost didn't do anything Maybe. Maybe on all of that. Hard to quantify any of it, isn't it? Right, um... Okay. Well, um... Go upstairs a second. I'm just gonna, uh... Let's see if that weird sound is still there. It is. Oh, yeah, there we go. I just got... I don't want to, and I guess with a, with a ghosty game, it's, you know, you don't need an excuse or a reason. But I wonder if they left that sound effect in too early, like you're not supposed to get that sound before you ex have that cutscene. Maybe. So I'm hunting around preemptively for something that's not there yet. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? Um... Oh, right. Thank you, Nightmare. I'm not. I'm not really uh, too worried about achievements. Thank you, though. Um, yeah, he did. Yeah, Rue. It did seem like that. He seems like you know. He's like seems like a quite well built, athletic guy. As that ghost thing he shot at also seemed to be like distinctly. It's like noticeable. 
Um, can't recommend it highly enough, Seven West Wing. Okay. Well, I don't have time for that, but. And there we go. We've got an eye. Got his eyes. Okay. So, door is locked. The eye sucks. It seems to be alive. Hello. Um. Hello. Give it a little poke, no? Um, yeah, okay. Guess we can't go in there until such time that we resolve the eye. That's what was squishy. No wonder I could hear it on this side of the door, and then that side of the door. Yeah, I think that was a bit of an oversight there. On the, the, the maker's part. Very subtle, but yeah, it does looking around for something, nothing for a minute. Okay, I guess we're um back to exploring. Let's see if we find some more eyes, something to show to that eye. Damn. That's crazy to them. No, it's yeah, that's not dolls friendly. Don't don't worry about that doll. Um, I'm going to... Can I shut this from down here? There you go. I'm pretty sure we only got the means to open up the attic from Dolores's, uh... Um... Playthrough. So, I don't... I imagine for this chapter, there's no need for us to go into the attic for anything. I'm just guessing. Okay, have a look around. No worries, nightmare. If I uh, if I feel I need one, I shall uh, be sure to ask. And, and likewise, I don't think it would involve us going to the, uh, I've got to find the bug he was talking about. Probably not, he smashed it, didn't he? Um... Yeah, I don't th think it would involve us going to the mirror room either. I guess we're, it's time for us to have a little look around the basement. Obviously, not much going on here at the minute. Um, yeah, that's, some people are crazy, Scotty. How people would be like... They get so involved. They think the actor of the thing is the real person. You're like... Are you, are you, are you just of low intelligence? I don't under, I don't understand. It's, it's good that you got swept along in the fictional story. But also, you know, sort your life out. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? My God. Presumably, we don't need to go that way. Just guessing. So, I come around down here. That's up to the uh, entrance of the kitchen. Oh, 
are still will not be opened. Oh, I think I've done a one save of the house. Um, what time we got? Okay, it's half five. I might um, let's take a little, little break for a second. Just uh, go make coffee and come right back. Um, um, <laughs> sort your life out, mate. <laughs> do, I, I, do I say that often? I don't know, Scotty. I, I, I can't. I can't help the the way I say things. It's not, you know, it's not always uh, the best sounding, but it is what it is. Uh, unless we've got to mess around the camera again. But I feel we've given the camera specifically in uh, Lucy's uh, uh, thing. Oh, maybe we, can, maybe we can ditch the compass. So we don't need that anymore, right? Okay, I'm going to... Uh, I want to take a three-minute break here, guys, and then I'll make coffee and come back and... Um, I might need that hint in a minute, uh, Nightmare, but uh, let me just have a little hunt around for a bit more. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't even coming after me, but look, guys, I feel like Guy Fawkes has the right idea. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, those... Uh, I feel like politicians are just deckhands anyway, but... British politicians in particular. They're not only scumbaggery, they're all so useless. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you, uh, hey, I'm, I'm a scumbag, and I'm, I don't even pretend to be that I'm not. It's not, I don't know. I, d I just don't know anymore, folks. Um, yeah, the the, uh, the camera nightmare for, um, you got from Lucy's chapter. Um, I would. I'm getting. I'm just assuming that that wouldn't, because it's yeah, because because you could do the chapters in any order. You surely you wouldn't need something from a different chapter to progress in the chapter you're currently on. Now, obviously, that could that could definitely be a thing if you were forced to do them in a certain order. But if you get a choice of the order, then it, I can't see that being a thing. Anyway, guys, I'm just gonna be a couple of minutes. I'll be right back.
No, oh, sorry to keep you waiting there, folks. Um, <clears throat> um, you got the in-laws in town. I'm glad I don't have any of those, fine. Good luck, sir. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to watch this new show. They're like, what even is that? And Ryan's like, crying out loud. <laughs> um... Um, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, you know, you don't, you can't, you can't choose your family, you can't choose your in-laws, you can kind of choose your in-laws, but that's a shame if you, uh, you, you <laughs> yeah, I really like you, but I, I need to check out your family first before I can commit to, uh, anything, um, um, so the only thing that I've kind of really noticed is that eyeball. Is there anything we can do with it? I wonder. Maybe I take a picture of it. Show it something. Give it something. We don't really have anything though, do we? There's one checking there. Uh, there's no reason anything would be in here. The eye stuck to it seems to be alive, no doubt. So, cheese. Uh, well, actually, I mean, it won't necessarily help us get up there, but. Oh. That sounds scary for a minute. But if we can, you can. That room is not technically blocked off. If you go through to the kitchen. Up there. I don't know. Um, I don't know. This is a uh, chapter three nightmare. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how many. I, I get the impression there's three, but someone might have mentioned there's like a fourth chapter once you've done the first three. So, I mean, that. Uh, I think. Um, we've still got this the, bl the bloody dope milk. Like some hot milk chocolate, yeah, for what it's worth. But, uh, yeah, no, nothing, uh, nothing around, though, is there? I just, want, I just want to eat. Uh, I just want to eat some of these chocolate fudge toasted pastries, or even uh, that spliff peanut butter. <laughs> I mean, what are you doing, folks? Um, yeah, I already got the milk. We just you need to uh, need some chocolate. Let's put in it. Uh, <laughs> stab it in the eye. Uh, just or stab it in its it. Um. Well, you want the milk guy? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's like solid anyway. Look, I, I, in fact, you can't pick it up once you put it there. Yeah, I don't know. Um. I don't think the newspaper's different, is it? No, no. There's no reason it would be. Uh. I'm pretty sure 
pretty sure I checked these quite a while ago. Fancy plates. Actually, provides more light having it on. So, there's maybe two uh, videos we're missing. Yeah, yeah, go for it, Nightmare. Yeah, because at the minute, I'm kind of clueless. We've got an eyeball. So I was going to tell there's nothing else in the house. Yeah, just stick a giant contact lens on it, uh, Seven. And it's like, oh, I can see now. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Do you want to come in this room? That's fine. I'll let you in now. I think I must, yeah, I must have tried to go out the door before anyway. Sure of it. The f stabbing with the fork. I mean, come on. Do be serious, Seven. You, no, you wouldn't like someone stabbed you in the eye with a fork. No. You don't, no, you don't actually know. <laughs> you just, uh, just uh, expressing your uh, violent side. Uh, oh, there's a painting near the eyeball. Oh, okay, cool. There is a painting near the eyeball. There's a couple, actually. Some of Claire's best work. Nice tree. Hello. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. I guess I just didn't pay attention to that, did I? Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Nightmare. Get that back in there. Get your eye back in there, buddy. And then, okay, cool. We'll move, look out for this. This might be a recurring motif going forward. I guess we're sat in the wheelchair, right? Get the next, uh, next part of the flashback. It's close. It's a different eyeball. Thumb, thumb in the eye, rather than a fork in the eye. you requested concerning the patient that came in tonight. He claims that someone broke into his house and tried to strangle him, and that he used his firearm in an attempt to defend himself. What's weird is that there's nothing in the police report that indicates any break-in. There are some minor bruises on his body, but they all seem self-inflicted. The police also interrogated the neighbor who called the police. She claims to have seen him tossing books from his bookshelves frantically, seemingly searching for something. And what was he searching for? Hard to tell. He refuses to answer most of our questions, claiming we already know the answers. He believes we're partly responsible for what happened. It's not really surprising. I took a look at his medical background, and he's had really bad cases of... Scopophobia. Exactly. Hmm. Scopophobia? What's that? Thanks, Tim. I'll go and see him right away. Of course. He'll be in the transit wing, room 323, until further notice. He seems agitated. So be careful. Thanks, Tim. Duly noted. No. Yeah. Indeed.
You know, scopophobia. Does anyone know? Should I look it up? Ah, anxiety disorder characterized by a morbid fear of being seen in public or stared at by others. I mean, it's a, a morbid fear. Uh, you know, it's never nice to be looked at, is it? And I guess some people like being looked at, don't they? They're like, um, you know, they want to be the center of attention. Obviously, I don't mind. Like, if you had this guy, <laughs> Rakan would not be, um, not be wanting to be a, tw a Twitch streamer. Let me put it that way. <laughs> Bless him. Okay. Because he just stayed inside and hung out on his, on his own for a bit. For a lot. And that's, especially if he's, um, was in the wheelchair. Or, uh, in the hospital now, apparently. I don't know if I'm walking in like this. I no, can't see a bloody thing. That's not our room. We're 306. Premium coffee. Yeah, I could go from this. I've got, I've got non-premium coffee. <laughs> Excuse me. That's not a very good joke, even. It's just, just comment. <laughs> Curious artwork for a hospital. They're just we want to follow the exit sign, I assume. You know, I see doors, so I just want to open them. <clears throat> okay, seems to be reception now. Oh, okay. The key to room 323. Okay. I guess we're uh, going to be hanging out here for a little bit. Call to security. Code white. Emergency in room 323. Code white. Emergency in room 323. Meat. Original meat snack. I wanna I wanna try one of those. What's that? <laughs> Is it a psychiatric ward? Probably, but we can't get through that way. Uh yes, this way. Th room three two three. Don't you dare touch me, you fuck! Seize him and give him the sedative. No! Get off me! Fuck off! Okay, so 
we had some small degree of paranoid schizophrenia. Anyway. We shall see. <clears throat> Probably break down the wall with the right tool. Like a crowbar or a sledgehammer. Oh wait, they're back in the house. Okay, let's uh I don't think that's gonna take us into there, so Okay, we're looking around for a tool. Go this way. Ah, okay, you got a quick turn. I didn't even realize we could do that. Okay, I've got a random door there. In the dark. Can't we see? Bubbles. Ooh, that bubbles flavour. Carrot. Carrot flavour soda. I don't know if that's a good idea. I like the one that's just called this two that's just called soda. They got different logos. <laughs> I can't go that way, so really. <clears throat> Didn't I? I'm from this way. No, actually, maybe I didn't. Oh, someone's crying. That's not good, is it? I think this is back where we started. Yeah, okay. This is uh this is the room that we were started in. Okay. <clears throat> A random dark room that I can't see anything in, but who knows? You're not freaking chairs. I don't need chairs, do I? <sighs> what I'm looking for can't be. They can't just expect me to wander around in the dark, can they? Another uh, eyeball picture, is there? Storage? Oh. The drinks machine is empty now. back to the elevator. I 
Aha. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> um. So be it. Okay. Well, I uh, walked through there. Ah, the ladies is open now. And somebody's crying in here. That's nice. That's nice. <clears throat> Alright, Nightmare. We um, we spent ages wandering around yesterday, so it's, it's all good. I wouldn't cry if I was you. There we go. New crowbar. Let's get ready for the scare. Or not, okay. You've not, uh, you've not completed it yourself then yet, Nightmare. Skipping the jump. Cool. And he obviously came here for this. Uh, the meeting room. The third floor key. Okay. Thank you for the follow there, Nightmare. God, Rackan, he's like, I'm, ch I'm choking you out, mate. Uh, right, yeah, got you, Nightmare. Yeah, I'm, I'm similar. I, uh, I, uh, I'll try and play stuff for free when possible. <laughs> I'm not, uh, you know, someone who's like buying games as a released. After, if I'm buying a game, I need to think carefully about whether it's actually something I truly, like, need. Okay, so he's, so he's the ghost. He doesn't think is. He's quite an intense dude, but he's... But, um, he's, uh, there we go. That's what we're he's just, the thing is, he's just like a dude. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's intense, but he's... You know, D Dolores was a creepy old lady, at least. And, my God, the the the, uh, the finger knife demon ghost from uh, Lucy's uh, thing. But, uh, I mean, Rackhand's just some dude just trying to kill us. <laughs> yeah, I, okay. It's not good that he's trying to kill us, but I don't know. And it's obviously scary. Because, you know, anyone's trying to kill you. It's scary, isn't it? But... Oh, 
go, probably pick up the key and the flashlight on the table before moving on. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of, uh, kind of the game to mention that, I guess. What's that? Transit Wing 2. Got a flashlight, that's cool. Oh. Jammed, is it? Okay. Let me just go back the way we came then. Hopefully. We don't have a map, do we? We just. Is there it is. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's the exit. But he, that's, he broke the handle on that, didn't he? Yeah, can I push this out of the way then? Yeah, okay. There we go. The flashlight runs out though. I guess obviously the batteries would eventually, but maybe it's just a um, case of uh, they'll last long enough that for practical purposes that it's not really an issue. Okay, so what was it? Tran Transit 2. Transit Wing, okay. Keep a look out for any. Uh, any signs? Well, here we are back at the beginning. Ah, this is the dark room, wasn't it? N next, across from our room. Just when you just check, I doubt there's anything in there, but there's actually not. Freaky artwork. If I was in the hospital and they had all this kind of artwork, I'd be like, well, it's freaky in and of itself. I, I, I'm kind of, I quite find that old kind of artwork quite interesting, but. It's just a bit distracting when you're trying to be in hospital and get well. I feel. Is this psychiatric ward, maybe? Oh dear. Doesn't sound good, does it? Um, Dwayne didn't. Dwayne didn't ruin your life. Somebody might have. Okay, so it's not it's not definitely not for that. That door is not locked. It's locked. What? That door is not locked. Okay, let's open it then. It's locked. <laughs> Alright, if you say so. If you say so. Okay, I don't really know where I'm going, but let's just keep exploring, I guess. Oh, is it down here? Yeah, yeah, here we go. We've got a safe spot. We've got a safe there. Okay. Oh, he's going to jump out, though, before we uh, get through that, isn't he? Oh, he's there. Oh, did he... Oh, did he kill himself? Okay, that's interesting. So he didn't die in the house. Or he just th oh maybe he didn't die. He just threw himself out the window and just escaped. He, he probably does, he could survive that definitely. Whether he did or not, I don't know. I'm behind us now. <laughs> My God. Yeah, no, I mean it's, it's an, an exit uh, cage. <laughs> Oh, 
Right, we're back home now. We're still in the hospital. Oh, no, we're still, uh... Sort of chunking along in the hospital, well, looks of it. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no, no, we're in the house, aren't we? It's just... So this is the dining room, right? It's just... We have got, uh... It's just been, a. Uh, yeah, you go in the hall. Oh, no, it wasn't the dining room. There you go. That's the front door. Okay, it looks like he wants us to follow the route through there. Yeah, there we go. Let's see where it's going to take us. Yeah, again, so all of the the uh, the chapters, the victims, everyone's suffered from mental health disorders. Now, the question, of course, is, is that random coincidence or is that the reason? And squish your eyeball, don't we, mate? This one here? One of these somewhere. Okay, so we're like, yes, the number of eyeballs on the door is the number of eyeballs you need to squish in a picture. Okay. Oh, no. Oh no, but it. Jeez. Jeez. My God. He's quite aggressive, isn't he? He's a scary dude, but he's not like, um,. He's not like a monster. Do you know what I mean? He's just, a, he's just a dude coming after us. The music's scary. Um, so did you do the other two chapters then, Nightmare? You, and then you got you, you had to stop when you got to this point. <clears throat> okay, at least I know what's going on. Um, do I actually have any supplies? We've got the camera, but that's not going not to keep him at bay, is it? Right, yeah, so we need to uh, find the two pictures. I thought I'd looked at them all, but I just need to be a bit more uh, careful where I'm looking, I guess. I, would, I suppose we're, um, we're suffering from uh, brain damage, aren't we? So if we just pop some pills for a minute, and maybe that'll keep him at bay. that one there. Oh, have we... Have we lost our... Uh, think of magic there. Okay. Is it the ones that are tied to the door that are... Not the ones? We've just got to do it in a certain order, maybe. No, no, because it was one... One picture, one uh, eyeball, wasn't it? I've seen any others though. Let's see if we got back up maybe. Oh 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 okay. Ah it's opened up a bunch of other areas. Oh fuck off mate. What's he like? So, so aggro. It's not his fault, I guess, if he's, you know, if 
he's schizophrenic. It's, he's just... He thinks we're out to get him. We're not. But he, he doesn't know that. Do you know what I mean? He's just... He's just doing his best. You know, if you thought someone was trying to kill you, you'd probably would be like... Kill them, wouldn't you? Ah, oh, here we go. I'm looking in the position of uh, ice fishing. Welcome back, Root. Yeah, it's very gooey, very eyeball-y around here. 45 minute lunch break, nice. Always felt, depending on the job, doesn't it, isn't it? But I always felt an hour lunch break's a bit too much, and half an hour's not really enough. friend <laughs> yo Roof's like i'm back oh no i don't want to be back <laughs> it's a little bit what's a little bit wasn't it let's put that down there oh god all right okay it's cool it's, we, it's all good we're cool we got a safe point uh know, we're back in the hospital do we even have anything we have no items all right it seems to be bouncing back between his own version of the house and the hospital. Oh. You're, uh, you're not Rakan. But I feel that you're not our buddy either. Maybe we try this way first instead. Or maybe we just gotta avoid those things. Oh god, there's a load of them down there. <laughs> Alright, I came this way. I feel like this red light is where it's supposed to be going. It. Yes, please. It's locked. Because it is. <laughs> of course it is. Uh, okay, can't walk that way. Can't see a bloody thing in there. Well, that was so covered over. Who knows? <clears throat> oh, let's go hang out with these chums down here. Um, yeah, lots of lots of getting shanked up uh, nightmare and babies crying, and it's uh, it's hard for me. I can't really comment on this chapter at the minute because we've kind of only just started it. Um, but it was far more. It felt more lengthy and confusing than Lucy's chapter. Right, I feel like I shouldn't like go up to those guys and introduce myself, but. Maybe we should. I've got a save point doing so. Wow, these poor folks. Oh.
not so poor folks. <laughs> Um, I've got the vibe like maybe I'm supposed to sneak through them and just not bump into them. Let me try that again. Because I, I got there, we got a save point, so... Imagine trying to play this game with, like, only, like, you know, permadeath, like, one life. I don't know if you even could, could you? I'm sure the people who made the game could. They understand exactly, like, mechanically how everything works, but... A bit, bit too much for us, I think. Yeah, because those guys there didn't touch us right away. Let me try again. Yeah, yeah, see, I avoided her. I feel like when you're purple, you got like, you know, purple uh, bruises. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. They look am amply freaky. These females are a little bit reminiscent of the um, Silent Hill uh, nurses. Coming through, folks. Coming through. Doesn't seem to be working. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, there we go. We've got the key. Key of the symbol downstairs on it. Excellent. Stop running after me. Very fun. Yeah, I don't know. You tell me, Ryan. What fresh hell is this? Uh, Sphinx, how you doing? <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What did I say? I'm scared. Uh, <laughs> Sphinx is like, oh, see what relaxing thing is going on in this shot. No, Sphinx, welcome to hell. Hospital hell. Um, how you doing today, Sphinx? Are you well? Um, my God, yeah. Um, we're making some good progress, though, I feel. Yeah, hospitals are not nice. No one really likes hospitals. Some people actually have like a hospital phobia, don't they? I mean, I can't I I blame them. <laughs> Thank you. Ryan. Sir Ryan. Sir Ryan the uh, the generous. He should be go down in he should be knighted and go down in history as. Bless you, Ryan. Thank you, Cage. Ryan does uh does stream occasionally himself. So if there's anybody here who's not following ryan give him a little follow and you know if you if you notice he goes live go and say hello to him and tell him you know go harass him and tell him that i sent you you know <laughs> and he'll be like oh thanks thanks is thanks for that <laughs> uh he, he, he's, a, he's a gent he's got excellent tasting games we go might be able to involve him in a little project in the future maybe not i don't know I've got, a, I've got something on the back burner. It's going to take a very long time to sort out. And uh, it's something I'm very excited about. That's not good, is it? Uh, but I um, it could be a bit awkward. It's most the awkwardness is mostly on me because um, of the simple fact that... I, uh, it's not even the fact that I live in the future from most of you. It's the fact that, you know, come 9, 10 o'clock at night, my time... I want to keep the noise down. That's the problem. That's the main major problem. But there's no I don't know if there's any way we can get around that in the in the future. 
But um, we'll sort something out. I'm, I don't know. It's it's hard for to be like, hey guys, I'm doing this thing. Do you want to do this thing? And everyone's like, yeah. Uh, okay, it has to be like Sunday morning. Everyone's like, no, I don't, don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Uh, oh, bar of chocolate there. Oh my God, yeah, I like chocolate. It was an uh, orange wrapper because it makes me think of uh, Reese's, even if it's not. Somehow it seems yummy. All right, okay, we're going. Seems to be a malfunction with the weight sensor. We'll investigate the problem as soon as possible. But for now, for now on, employees will have to use the basement staircase to get to the basement. There's a spare key in the admission office if needed. Okay, cool. Can't use the elevator to get in the basement. Need to take the stairs. There's a key in the admission office. Very well. So was this the guy? Was this a maintenance guy? Just left his um, he got chips and everything. He just left, just you know, leaving his litter, his uh, trash line around. It's terrible. Yes, yeah, Sphinx. Is it, has it been that long? Two months, my dear. Yeah, it's rough. The more time you take off. The rougher it is when you go back to it, Sphinx. But never, never give up. Never, never give up. Keep putting, you know, ha putting some effort in. It, like I say, if you take a month, a week off, a month off, two months off, six months, a year off, don't be like, don't never have the attitude of, well, I haven't been doing it this long, so it doesn't matter. Never take that attitude. I know you won't. And for anybody else here. Um... And it is always rough when you get back to it. And the, rough, the longer it's been, the rougher it is. But don't push yourself. Don't go too hard. Just do it. Take, take it nice and easy. Take it nice and light. Don't even do, don't do it for long. You don't have to be for long. But just do something that either stretches your muscles out, uh, works your muscles, or elevates your heart rate. Uh, or get you know something that gets a sweat on whatever any any all all combination of those just just a little something let me just about 15 20 minutes just do you know do some push-ups do some setups uh, if you go to the gym you know get on the uh you know the um the treadmill or the, the bike or you know something just throw some dumbbells around you know swing a kettlebell around you know just do a little something just some just do some squats just do some squats something just a little something it will, um, it's, it's the best thing to do. The best thing you can do for, your, for yourself. Any of us can do, really. <laughs> Thank you. Right, and now what's Ryan's doing? Ryan, he's like, he's like, I, I was gonna, I was gonna try and overtake Steph in a minute. And he's like, no, I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah, he hasn't yet. So he might, you know, he might. Nightmare, there you go, Nightmare. You can have a. Uh, you got a question? No, yeah. Sorry to um, sorry to keep you waiting there, nightmare. What's your question? Apart from, there you go. Have a chocolate bay. Uh, <laughs> this is the answer to you. Can you ask a question? Of course you can. Uh, I uh, you ask me or uh, you know, I can't speak for anyone else here. But you can ask me any question you want. It doesn't have to be about the game. It doesn't need to be about streaming. It could be about. It doesn't even need to be about me. Although it can it certainly can be. Um, you can uh, ask anything you like. I'm not a, an academic philosopher, but I do like to think about everything. And I have probably thought about everything at some point. So, oh. So if, uh, if you want to ask anything, my friends, you go right ahead. I'll, I'll try and answer as best I can. Um, next week's stream, should we play Iron and Ice Race for Quarry? So, I don't know anything about Quarry. Um, I know it came out fairly recently. I have played Alien Isolation. And while it's a good game, in terms of vibe and atmosphere, I felt that the gameplay kind of got a bit tiresome, eventually. Um, so the true answer to that, uh, Nightmare, is you should... You should play whatever you want to play. What's going to be, what's going to, which of those two is going to be most fun for you? That's what you should do. Now, if you're thinking along more along the lines of maybe trying to get people into stream, I I would go with Quarry because that's newer and arguably at the moment more popular. That was what I would choose. Um, 
but you, you know the true answer is what is more what is the most fun for you okay looks like maybe we're going through here this is the admissions office maybe of patient number nine on request from Smith Walter. Patient name, Raken Almutala. Raken, okay. Gender, male, age 28. After Raken's Rakan, first evaluation, cooler. it is safe to say that he'll be staying here for a while. I was able to get him to talk about his paranoia. The patient believes that the whole scenario has been organized by some evil corporation in order to brainwash him into subjugation. Well, he's not wrong, is he? Just because he he's realized no one else has. <laughs> and awareness prevented them from getting to him. Adding to the severity of his case, he is sometimes afflicted with hallucinations. He has described these hallucinations to me as an eyeless humanoid that keeps on watching him wherever he is. Due to his psychotic behavior and his difficulty differentiating reality from paranoiac fabrication, he has been transferred to the psychiatric wing. He also displays violent behavior towards the staff, is considered to be dangerous, should be sedated, and under constant surveillance in the psychiatric ward. Okay. Yeah, he smashed our face in once already. Chucked us out as well. Um, yeah, what's it? Um, is it Nirvana? It's, uh, Kirk Cobain said, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not after you. you know what I mean you can be a uh, you can be paranoid schizophrenic but actually know what you're talking about <laughs> they're, they're not mutually exclusive is what you know that's what I'm saying um um so, uh, my take on 18th century agrarian business as it pertains to the economic decline of civilization uh, I don't really have an, I don't know enough about that uh Ryan, so I can't give you an opinion on that. I'll have to get back to you on it, sir. Um, damn, yo, take... Sphinx, take it easy. Don't go too crazy. I'm not too fan of these like barriers here. It's like, hey, you can't go this way. It's like I could just push that out of the way. I I could. I could do that. Yeah. Aha, the key. Key to the basement staircase. Excellent. I'm going to assume he's behind us. I know not where I'm going. Oh, he's going to kill us, guys. So angry. Raken, you're so angry. I'm on your side, buddy. The government's after you. Yeah, after me too. Let's, let's fight the man together, yeah? I don't work for government. Calm yourself, sir. Um. Ooh. I don't know if we played the the chapters in the wrong order. Uh, in terms of scariness, I think we may have played the first... Uh, the, the scariest chapter first of this fight. Let's see if I'm going to form my way through this. Mess. 
Oh no, there's chairs. I can't get over the chairs. Oh, okay. I just assumed we would be able to go outside there, honestly. This is like the quad outside area in the hospital. Okay, fair enough. With giant rocks. I can not have any trees, but why giant, giant freaking boulders? Well, well, well. Um, <clears throat> indeed, indeed, Root. It's, um, it's indeed scary. Oh, we get a flashlight, do we? Cool. Locked, is it? Okay. Clearly, obviously, going to be something we need in there. Okay. Well, we'll come back to that. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I wouldn't open it, but, you know, I don't have a choice. Okay, so it's not letting me anyway, so <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry about it. Fizzle. Oh, someone was hiding the locker, were they? Because, <laughs> you know, just cause. Oh, and someone's been through here. Now, it can't be uh, Raken, because he'd be trying to kill us, wouldn't he? Oh, someone's disappeared from in here. Oh, okay. Let's head through here, shall we? You shipped your pants. You, oh, you might want to. Um, you want to get them back, Cage. You might need them later. Why? Oh, okay, now where are we? Looking for the control room. Which 
will no doubt turn the power off, which will no doubt let us get in that uh, washing machine. Ah, oh, the doors want a magnetic card reader, might over the lockdown. Okay. I see. Jam doors in this place. Oh, oh wait. That's the washing room, isn't it? Okay, we've gone around in a big old circle. That's fine. Must be a door I missed. Okay, let's just go back to where we came then. Or a direction I, f I failed to go in. That's where we climbed out, wasn't it? Of the pipes. Okay. Control room. There we go. Oh, thank you for hydration, Sphinx. Let me uh, do that briefly, guys. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, if it's the other side, of the, we sent them to Australia Express. You have to walk, be pantless for a little bit, Cage. Thank you, Sphinx. I appreciate it. I mean, Tom, we've got two hours and 20 minutes. I don't think... I would guess we're not going to complete the game today, but that's fine. I'm going to make some decent more progress on it, though. More decent progress. Decent more. Well, that's not a thing. It's kind of... Okay, there we go. Big red button. That should presumably allow us to get in the uh, the washing machine. Oh my God, screw you, buddy. I don't know if that was that guy was got up and chased us or if he was just a dead body got thrown through there. I'm not hanging around to find out, quite frankly, folks. <laughs> Hold on a minute. What's it? I thought it was this room. Ah yeah, through here. Okay. See, it's nothing scary, Cage. It's just your pants. I can open the door. Nice. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Just Kyle Schaefer's the janitor, full-time janitor. Um, it's kind of familiar. Um, so, what do we do with his ID card? Ah, for the elevator, I guess. The override on the elevator. Got you.
Yeah, yeah. The thing is, you're not working a minute, I cage. So you know, if he's at home, then it doesn't really matter. But if he's at work, then maybe he's sat down at his desk so he can get away with it. I mean. Inter we want you to interact with these this pile of corpses here. Oh, oh! I'm dragging them out. That's not a good idea. Uh, he's like. No, I don't want to fight you. Oh, is he playing around the corpse? Which, which way are you going? You going to come this way, buddy? I mean, let's move. Look around the houses, yeah? What's going on this way? Just to hope and assume that he's come, you don't want to turn around and come back the other way. You're too heavy. Okay. Sorry guys, that's just uh that's just the way it is. Bro, your neck was not looking too healthy there. <laughs> You're home. There you go. There you go. He doesn't need pants at home. Yeah, jig jiggly corpses. It's not, um... It's not what we strictly want, is it, bro? I mean, all right. keep this in the hands for now, I guess. <laughs> I was trying to put it away so that maybe the light didn't, didn't affect them. This is probably this is nothing. Nothing compared to some some of the shizzle we've seen in this game. I do slight. You well. It's a uh, lovely to see you as always, sir. Um, playing your your rat game. Run away from the rats. But yeah, you do. You, you're doing a lot of uh, on cam recently. Slight. Are you getting used to it? How do you feel about it? Do you prefer it? Do you are you just doing it for the sake of the horror game, so it makes better content or? What's your vibe? You did say that you, it hurts your back, like sitting in the position you need to be in for for, uh, for being on cam. But yeah, 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 these folks are not too friendly, slight as you can see. Okay. Yeah, there, it's a little bit, it's a bit much, isn't it? Yeah, I think I've just got to be quicker. I was like, oh, she's coming to say hello. 
that's not what we want. There we go. That's through there. There we go. Fuck you, Dwayne. Raken, why fuck us? Why fuck us, buddy? What's your problem with us, sir? He's so he's so aggressive. We, we want to fight the government with you, Raken. But you know, if you're gonna be an asshole, I don't know if we if we should. Okay, well, I'm just giving myself a small reprieve here, and nothing more. Okay, that's just what I need to. Oh. I should have done a, I should have done a manual save in that room when I was somewhat safe. Okay, so we've got to get around this area to go who, who knows where, uh, and obviously avoid these uh, enemies. Exactly, Root. It's like he said, "Fuck you, fuck you." It's, what? What's it do to you, bro? That's terrible. How you doing today, Root? Root said, "Fuck you." And I, <laughs> Easy. Um Well I respect I respect it, uh slight. You you've proven that you're not doing it because it's like the easy it's the easy option. You're doing it because you feel that is the best for your channel. Not that you need to prove anything to anyone, but it's like not anyone can uh, can even say anything about it, you know. <laughs> Big you. Big you. I'm gonna assume they can't open doors, but maybe that's a silly assumption. No reason for me to have that assumption. Okay, I'm gonna do um I'll do oh, is it gonna let me do a save? It might not even let me save. No, I don't think it's gonna. Um uh, VR and noise cancelling headphones, oh that sounds awful. You can sneak past these things, can you? Okay, this seems like a way to go. Run, run forever. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, this is not just one chasing after us. Yeah, exit. That's the place I want to go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. I feel I was uh, heading in the right direction there. Obviously, um, got to, you know, got to <laughs> not get sandwiched. By the, uh, the, the faceless, eyeless, psychiatric patients. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, this, um, I don't know, this, uh, this chapter's not as scary. It's like, I don't know, I feel, I feel being in the house is scarier. I've also got a save point, though, so I'm not going to do this little sneak thing every time. I just couldn't rush this sneak a bit. I don't know. I assumed I had to be a bit careful, but maybe not. Okay. Fuck you, Dwayne. Fuck you, buddy. Oh. I went too, went too fast. <laughs> okay, doesn't seem to react to light. Oh, f oh God! Okay. <sighs> I 
I wonder what a death count on this is. Sorry. It's got to go. Uh, <laughs> I'm not your pal, friend. Um. I don't know. Okay. I gotta gotta go quick, but not too quick. That's what we're gonna do. And I was almost there as well. Almost there. Fuck you, Twain. Maybe there's other places to hide. This isn't much of a place, is it? I wonder if they'll follow you into the room. I assume they would. Definitely this way, but um, I gotta get to the exit, haven't we? I feel like they're close. One, one of them is close. Oh yeah, you're there. Oh, 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 oh! Oh. I can't open doors, but God damn it. How to um get around him? Um <clears throat> You'd survive. You, be, you say you're not into the horror games, but you seem to be surviving them quite well. Just like, just uh, as an observation. Jug on, jug on, jug right on, jug on, jug on. Chucking mad on. Oh. I'll slip, I'll slip by that. <laughs> I feel like we've got to get to the exit. Nightmare. We've got to get to that exit. I've just got to avoid the enemies. God damn it. We've got to go six us back at the beginning, doesn't it? It's going to be. Uh, again. You're too scared. <laughs> That's part of the fun, though. That's the fun. It's like, I feel. That feeling of being scared. Being on the edge. Being like, oh, I don't want to the corner. I don't want to look. Um, that's, the, uh, that's the joy of it for me. Oh, my God. Fuck you. Alright, we're going this way then. 
I feel like actually crouching down helps you stealth these things. I don't know. The one with the sound design is they they sound like they're right on top of you, even if they're possibly not right at the minute. Oh, come on. Can't open doors, can you? You stick your arm through the door, can't you? Yeah, which way are you going? I'm going back that way. That's a pain. That's a bit of a pain. I want to go that way. Um. <clears throat> um. Because because horror. Uh, cage. And they're, they're only they're only vaguely human. God damn it. Yeah, so it seems like she like wanders back there. Each time. Test the other direction. I don't know if there's any good. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Oof. It's jammed. Oh, let's just go to bed then. Look in the mirror. Wash our face. Get in bed. Get under the bed. Come on the lamp. Been around. Oh, yeah, a raken. They're on, they're on little fisty cuffs. I know you shouldn't like beat up a guys on crutches, but also you know, if the guy on crutches is starting the fight, I'm gonna do. It. Oh my god. I'm sorry they looked at you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry they got you. Yeah, you get that on that meeting there, Root. Did you buy? I don't know about that. I don't know if that's true. Oh, okay, here we go. Right, we're back in the house, are we? Yes, we are, in a fashion. Uh, and we following on the, uh, the cord back upstairs? Maybe? Oh, it's going upstairs now. So did he live on this house in this house on his own? Not a big house for a twenty-year-old guy to just 
own on his own. Oh, bro. That's not fair. <laughs> it's up nowhere to run. So loud when you get shanked. <clears throat> not shanked, but you know. Um. Okay, that's not the right thing to do. Because then there's like three eyeballs on that door. So I need to run back around and find the pictures while trying to avoid him. But he like appeared and then he's like, there's nowhere for us to get around him. <laughs> it, seemed, it seemed a bit cheap. Never mind. What are you going to do? I have a flashlight. That'd be nice. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. It spawned us back here. Okay, we've got to see that weird cutscene again. That's what, maybe I can do a manual save once we get back into the house. Let's hope so. Oh, excuse me. I've got a look of stuff to activate that. Oh yeah, maybe we got to notice the eyeballs. There we go. Let's see. We can. Thank God for that. Right, okay. Um, yeah, because I don't think we've... Oh, actually, I see... I don't know. He wouldn't be put off by the camera, would he? I'm sure he wouldn't. No, no lighter, no nothing. It seems like you have to... see those eyeballs first that seemed like to me yeah what the hell oh you can oh, okay cool cool you can jump down here Where is he going? I don't know. Okay, ah, oh, there we go. So you can. You jump off the balcony. Squish. Eyeball one. Be weird for them to be two next to each other. Oh, there's not one there. At least I should be, if he appears in front of us, I should be able to uh, just run back the way we came. Loop around on us. Let me try upstairs first because it's a bit more confined, isn't it? Yeah, this is number two. Find Sarah's room.
from the bathroom. There he is, excellent, cool. We've got more wheelchairs on. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's got that it's got that vibe, hasn't it, Nightmare? Uh, thank you for the lurk there, Raf. I hope you um have a good, good day so far. In hospital <laughs> it's this chapter more than the other two seems very straightforward but linear no that's necessarily a bad thing just um it's just uh what it appears to be the case oh okay, yes what i save nice Exit. That's what we're looking for. Oh. This looks like a disturbing thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe that was the thing that... Maybe, maybe Raken wasn't paranoid. Maybe he was actually seeing the ghost. A ghost. One of the many ghosts. And that's what got him. I don't know. And he's like, ah, they're going to get me. And they're like, yeah, yeah, you're just a crazy person. He's like, no, really. There's a ghost. That seemed to be point. That seemed to be what it was. The, the larger man. Large, dark man. That was, uh... <laughs> Pointing us in the direction there. Just go around in a circle. Look at my half. Oh, uh, key to unlock that. Okay. Right, okay. Let's start, uh... Jammed. Uh, key to unlock that. Elevator? There's no power. Okay. I had a little whisper on the other side of that. Oh! Ah! He's totally oh, lost it! Leave me alone! Check him with the tranquilizer! I'm not supposed to be here! You're all part Someone bind him up! Get his doctor right away! Let me out of here! Jeez. Okay, they didn't treat him very well. Indeed. Uh oh. Interesting. Okay, cell control panel. Alright, I've opened number five. For better or worse. Ah, three, two. 
Right, five down the end. What are we just looking? Observation. Oh, sorry. Observator. Observatory. But yeah. This will be one of these rooms back here, won't it? High risk patients. I don't know if you want to go there, but. Is it observatory? Doesn't this mean, does not it say? No, it's not that key. It's jammed. Okay. We'll get there. Um <coughs> Ah okay. I see. So I guess the uh the, the makers of the game were like, oh let's um we want to do something different. We want to, you know. That's that's fine. Ah, is this door? No. Okay. So got a couple of locked doors and no way to be uh, getting through them. Okay. I guess we're heading back the uh, other way then. So it was one of the also one of these doors in here, wasn't it? Ah, it's locked. There we go. Okay, it's just literally a locker room. Ah, oh, nice. If you want to view the patients through the. You have assaulted multiple employees and threatened security guards with a knife. You sabotaged the electric panel, leaving the entire ward under lockdown. Such behavior is leaving us questioning your mental stability and health. We are left with no choice but to isolate you from the patients and employees in the psychiatric ward. No doubt. Agents are a measure. No! No treatment! You all are the reason why this It's got battery, huh? If we uh, shouldn't need it in a minute. Now we do. Follow the footsteps, maybe. So, can I get through the window? I cannot get through the window. Let's head through here. Right into the bathroom. Wow, that's you know that's when you you know, you know you've made poor food choices. All those uh, breakfast cheeseburgers, fine. <laughs> Handle of the electric box. Okay. Not seeing the electric box at the minute, but I think. Oh, okay. Head into the high risk patients, shall we? Okay, let's just 
led us to a dead end there. Uh, it would be a pretty freaking in. Oh! Oh, oh! Oh dear. I guess that guy just represents the amalgamation of the doctors, maybe. Um. Okay, so that was meant to happen. That's that's all I needed to know. Oh, there's our flashlight. Can I? Oh, we... Oh, we're heading through here, are we? Oh, we're heading down here. Oh, my God. I'm not, like, massively claustrophobic. But also, I'm not, like, a fan. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I want to be... I, I like wide open spaces. Oh. Hello. Oh, God. Hour and forty. Big eyeball. It's the eyeball you hate, Raken, not us, right? My right, buddy. Something sharp to cut open the eyeball. Okay. Oh. Whoa, 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 bro. Easy now. Aha. Oh. That's not anything. Raken. I got you by uh I got you by the nuts, haven't I, buddy? Oh. Um I haven't just haven't seen anything to sharp to stab the eyeball with yet. Oh. Whoa, whoa, bro. Right. 
Well, I've, uh, not really seen anything. Oh, no. God, he's on us. On it like a bonnet. playing games, is he? Oh, something in here? Oh, no. Anybody seen anything? I can't see him. I haven't seen that thing. Oh, the literal music loop ran out. <laughs> Like, I've had enough. Interesting. Okay. Maybe the game's like, oh, I'll give you a reprieve. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm checking this corner. Never mind. I thought I'd run around the whole area, but. I guess, uh, I guess not. That's a key item. Okay. Um. Bro? You wanna... Oh, is he... Oh, is he... Zoned out at the minute? Ah! Really? He's on the other side of the... the that, uh... That wire fence. What an asshole. Seriously. Yeah. We're literally on the other side of the fence of him. He's a ghost, though, so, you know. So are we. So I don't know why we can't run through fences, but... Never mind. Uh... <laughs> okay, at least I know where the knife is. It's in the, the, the back... Uh, the back uh, right-hand corner. Screw you, buddy. Drink. Wow, lovely. Very squish again now. Ooh. Unlocked the door, did we? Okay, cool. Oh, okay, back in the hospital. Right, um. <coughs> Jeez, Louise, sorry. Um, very sneezy today. All right, we're looking for, I guess we're looking for the power room. Well, yeah. Where well, that would be, I don't, I don't know. 
or allow us to activate the elevator, I assume. Yes, it's uh, back through here. It's got the kind of switchboard there, but that's not the actual. That's just a. That's just the electronic locks for the uh, the individual cells, isn't it? Oh dear. Ah, control room. Oh. Oh, no, sorry. Control, yeah. Power room I'm looking for. It's jammed. What am I, uh... What am I missing here, folks? Um... <laughs> allergic to pushing. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that much of it. Honestly, I think this is a really well put together game. It's clearly somebody... They played PT, and they're like, oh my god, that's so cool. And then it never became a game and they're like god damn it i want that to be a game and they kind of like ran with it and uh, it's good a good effect oh it, oh we spawned in the electric room <laughs> Need to look, you need to look behind me. <laughs> I swear to God. Sometimes. Okay. Now we should be able to get down the elevator. There we go. What oh, floor we're on. What floor we're going to, but that's man. Yeah, it's um, I believe it's a remake of Silent Hill 2, um, Ryan, which I, I'm sure it'd be wonderful. I just wish they'd do the do it of the original Silent Hill, just because that's the one that needs the most polish, and is whether people like it or not, it is the most important game in the series in terms of explaining the overall story. So even though it's like full blown violence, so if you so if you get going to a psychiatric institution, there, there's no like legal precedent if they're like violent towards the staff. That that's just them. They just take the stance that well, obviously you're still ill, so you have to remain here. But they're not like you, you just kind of absolved of your sins, almost. I'll get. Oh, he's sitting in his wheelchair. No. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the wheelchair, it's like... Oh, it's old school, isn't it? Um. Ah. We... So we're going to hit the wall then at some point. Okay, here we go. Heading through here. Yeah, I mean, um, 
Danielle. Uh, Daniel? Danielle. I don't know. I think he's a buddy of sorts. He, uh, he shared the video uh, about Silent Hill the other day. It's pretty good. Um, how, you know, there's no real point in having a new, new Silent Hill games because the story's done. There's nothing to do with... There's nothing you can... I don't know. I mean, I'm of the mind that if something's cool, I'm happy to have more of it. I don't... I'm just, I just want to be immersed in that world. It doesn't need to... Oh, God. I knew it! Oh, they're in big trouble now! With everything I know, I'll definitely take them down! Yeah, you definitely. Me, fuckers! I'm on to you! Oh, who's that hey, in the background? Hey, what are you doing? Who sent you? Wait! 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 No! Uh. City boy. Oh, was that? That wasn't the basement in the house, was it? And he just got locked down there. Yeah, because that's the thing, Ryan. Even like uh, the the newer Silent Hill games, yes, they're not related to the overall story at all. Sometimes they don't even necessarily take Silent Hill, the town, isn't even a major feature of the game, even if it takes place in Silent Hill. But, um, they're still good, fun games. So it's like, you know... Why, why, I don't know why to, why you would be against it. Oh, the eyeball. Oh, is that... Is that Raken's chapter done? The shortest of all three chapters. What the hell? It's a secret room in the house. What the? F Let me work this out. So that's that's the um the broken. This in the basement. This must be on the first floor. So we can map it out where it would be. Oh, it's, oh no, it's not real. It's vanished now. Silence. My God. So I guess we, um... I'm just gonna have a look at our, um... Our collection of items. I don't know exactly what happened to him. Yeah, it wasn't a real secret room, though. Uh, Scotty. It was just an imaginary secret room. There we go. There's his eyeball. Oh, oh. How freaky. It's two half eyeballs stuck together. Okay, the music got some slightly friendly. Can we confess our sins yet? Okay. Let me um do one of these. At the least. Now, okay. So we're back in the house. We're not in the, on a chapter now. Rose gonna call us. Um. So, assuming there's no new chapter item, unless one just randomly appear, things were kind of... Uh, that are um, unknowns, potential things, are... Uh, we've got the milk, making the choco milk. No chocolate. You can't have choco milk without choco. Um... Are we missing videotapes? Or is that... Is there just four to get? I don't know. Um, oh, wait. Hang on a second. 
I'm not getting ahead of myself. Go back downstairs a second. There's another videotape. I thought I saw it when I stood up there. Prison. Okay. I guess we go watch that. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, you know, if that doesn't give us any clues. Um, all I'm thinking is... Uh, I've gone the wrong way around here. Never mind. I'll, never get the, I'll never get the gist of this house. I'd have to live in this house to uh, get the proper vibe of it. Um, there's still no leaving. Um, okay, let's watch this video tape first. Carousel. Kids of the carousel on the carousel. Um, yeah, it looks like in that box there should be six. So we've got number five here. Oh, okay. Brick wall. Alright, string light bulbs uh, underground. all of it, isn't it? I need the TV on. Yeah, greed. Is that pride, the top one? Oh. Yeah, pride, indifference, negligence. Prison. Yeah, it looks like there's more. Your eyes, Scotty. One more. Uh, all right. So aside from the gun in the in the basement, basement, and we just pop, 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 you know, kill ourselves again. Um, the choco milk. Um, the safe. We still haven't found a key to get in the safe in the office. Um, otherwise, I'm really not, uh, not sure. I'll take some drugs with us, I guess. Oh, all right, all the drugs. Okay, we'll just take two for now. I'm going to come back here for any two. Um, Yeah, there's going to be uh, something cool in the safe, right? You think? Exactly. Yeah, the PT had n was had nothing to do with Silent Hill. It only it may that house may have been set in Silent Hill. Okay. Question mark. Okay. Maybe. Maybe question mark. Is 
There's a bunch of curious stuff around. Oh, directly opposite the bath. Yeah. For, for what it's worth. Um. Yeah, guys. I need to. Uh, I need to go and pee. That coffee's gone right through me. Yo, songbird. How you doing? Um. I'm very well today. How are you? Um. Proverbial fires. Well, feel free to tell me all about it if you want. That's a pain. Work. What a pain. Um. I'm just take a six second break, guys. I'll be right back. We'll see if we can make some more progress with this. But yeah, how you, how you doing, Songbird? I'll be right back with you. Oh, I sort of key you ain't there. Um. Oh, of course. Yeah, I remember you telling us, uh, Songbird. Yeah, you were working on the the, yeah, the, the uh doing the platinum. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> got <a> unicorn's fist. <laughs> uh, so oi, do not disturb me. Yeah, yeah, I remember you saying, um, now you've reminded me, you were uh, considering, like, uh, going elsewhere. But you were not sure, and you're trying to convince your, uh, your colleague to, like, come with. <laughs> right, okay, um, I suppose I should probably have a little look in the attic. For a specific reason, I, I, like I said, I'm just at the point now of just running around doing a once over on the house again, just see if there's anything new or if anything anything's changed.
nothing upstairs as far as I can tell. Oh. Crazy amount. Oh my god, crazy amount of broken keys. I did not notice those before. Random footsteps. Okay. Um, let's go. Right, so checked out the cassette to the video the videotapes. I wonder what's gonna be the thing that kills us if well, when when you're not on a chapter. I don't think anything did before. It's just like random. I don't know. Could make choco milk, but we can't. Uh, we've also got the, uh, of course, like the basement into the the secret lab. That could uh, be a thing. But I don't know. I, I, I reckon. I feel that maybe it's like maybe there's like a firearm, one that we're not going to pick up and shoot ourselves in the head with. Maybe in the safe, and we can use that to shoot our way through the. Uh, the uh, place downstairs. I don't know. I think I'm about ready to head into the basement. No, no, we we finished Dolores, and then we did the next one, uh, a guy called Raken, which uh, was actually most of that didn't even, no, this is a freaking eyeball, dual eyeball, uh, didn't take place in, uh, on, uh, in the house, most of it was in the, a, a hospital he was, he'd previously been at, but I think he died in the house, wasn't perfectly clear, um, Yeah, so we're not currently in a chapter. We're trying to find the next and or uh, the final chapter. I don't know. Yeah, so we're close to the end, guys. I just, I, I guess, I just not really fully sure about anything in particular. Run around seeing if there's like a new a new object that's going to be like ah this is the fourth and final chapter which didn't appear until you'd done the previous chapters and there you go. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's kind of similar in, like, cause it's all first person and that, but it's, uh, it's very scary, but it's, like, obviously far more uh, action-based. Cheek of it. Yeah, so we're building up, uh, stress again. Brain damage, psychological damage, but what's going to come and kill, kill us? Because we're not in the chapter, I don't know. Which maybe more freaky things start happening. Let me try down here. I'm not going to shoot ourselves in the head, even though we've, you know, we've already done that. But. Uh oh, the door's already open this time. If 
he's just going to put it to his head again. Yeah. We could try it, but that option's been there the whole game, and it's really not a thing we want to do. Um... Um, okay, let's keep looking around the basement for a minute. Okay, that's uh, up to the kitchen there, isn't it? Okay, back in the storage room. A mysterious mirror. Not mysterious, just makes noises. I mean, in this house, that's not really that mysterious. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of the norm. Okay, it looks like some of the uh, supplies have re replenished themselves. Uh, to the kitchen. Uh oh, ah, the light bulb that we maybe saw in the uh, ah, oh, uh, oh, okay, we've we've gone somewhere. We're in a, a different version of events. Um, as it won't light up, might as well put it away. Exit sledgehammer. Okay. Okay, that doesn't seem to do much. That got me. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Welcome back, Nightmare. We are, he caught us dying again. <laughs> We're making decent progress, though. I don't know who that is. Is that, is that the guy that was harassing uh, Rakan? Hello there. Brother respect. Welcome in. How's it going? Wait, Raiders, welcome. How you doing? Thank you for the raid there, uh, Mr. Respect. My name's Isnim. Call me Is. We're playing Visage. Were you playing Visage? I don't think there's a moderate around at the minute to drop a uh, shout out there there was scotty thank you talk shows and podcasts interesting what were you uh what are you doing there uh brother respect i don't like the names it's important to have respect but yeah are you familiar with visage is that how you've uh chosen to uh i can't see a freaking thing can you 
Um, <laughs> is that how you have chosen to array us today? No, I can't use my lighter. Okay, never mind. Um, uh, be kind, rewind. Dandy gamer. Emo-esque. Welcome in, folks. Um, Visage is. Yeah, he's... I oh, should pause it for a second while I, we, we talk to the lovely raiders. Um, we uh no uh nightmare. We're on Rakan's chapter now. We've uh we've uh we finished that. Um. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know if you, you just leave it on that. I know some people uh they were starting just chatting or something, and they'll just they went like changing. Nothing matters. Yeah, emo esque. It is. Um. So I'm not, I, I, I play, you know, we, we cover like every kind of video game, mostly, on this channel. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm certainly not a horror, horror streamer. Like some streamers are, and there's, that's cool, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I do, I do like horror games. I'm a massive Resident Evil fan, I'm a massive Silent Hill fan. You know, and among others, games are similar to that. I'm all about it. Um, you know, I do like horror, but uh, they, they kind of, they, I don't find them scary. They're just fun. This game, <laughs> I, f I don't know. I feel like oh, I've somewhat grown accustomed to it over the past couple of days. We've been playing it. We're going on Monday. You should have seen me. It was. It's intense. It's a very intense game. So I'll just say this, brother. Respect. If have you completed it? Did you complete it? I don't. Should, oh, should we? We are fairly near the end. I just want to be conscious that you or any of your viewers. Um. Don't uh, don't get any spoilers. If that is a concern, do you, no, no, you know, I don't mind if anyone wants to drop out or uh, mute the stream or go on a lurk or whatever. Don't worry about that. Um, we have just we've completed the the uh, the three chapters. Is there an extra chapter? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Dandy gamer. Can I sit so, um, oh, thank you, thank you, brother. Respect. Good to see you. I appreciate. That. I follow my friend. Um, we've so we started Lucy's chapter. On Monday, and I think we wrapped it up. Can Monday. I sit here? Oh, bless you, you may ask. Um, yeah, we did Lucy's chapter, then we did Dolores's chapter, which we did spent most of yesterday doing, and we we were quite near the end. We completed that today, and Can then I we um here? did Rakan's chapter. Thank you, Dandy Gamer. Bless you, bless you, folks. Um, and now I was just like, okay, so now we're just wandering around, and we somehow found ourselves in the, a, a different place in the basement i don't know so um uh nightmare it's not on the list i know the i know the name of the game but we uh i i have a few producers of the channel they choose what we play that's the only reason we're playing visage at the moment because they chose for us to play it um we've got other things coming up um but yeah welcome in uh uh brother respect uh raiders i'll uh I'll go, I'll go and have a little gander at your, uh, your channel later. But yes, my, as, just to reiterate, my name is Isnib. Call me Is. Everybody does. I stream Monday to Friday consistently. We do long is stream. I mean, how do you find long? I, I, I stream six, seven hours. I go, ah, the long stream. I know people who do consistently do 12 hour streams, so I should probably shut up. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the average is. I don't know. Uh, we talk a lot. I rant a lot. We uh, ask, Feel free to ask me anything if you like, if you have any questions. But yes, like I say, do um yeah, and uh, brother respect. If you want to, if you go to Ralph and get food, you go to bed. I don't know what time zone you're on. You'll take care of your family. Whatever you got to do, buddy. Don't no no need to hang around. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Um yeah, or just avoid spoilers. You just want to avoid spoilers. That's a good. That's a big one. I'll avoid looking at people's streams. I know if they're playing something, I don't want to spoilers on. But um, thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah, no, I, I, I just, I'm just wearing the same underwear, so I just clean it at the end. But, <laughs> but in all seriousness, let us continue. Right, yeah. So, uh, just wander around in the dark here. Right, yeah. So the scary dude came from down there, didn't he? Oh, did I just walk into him? It's kind of a problem with it being so dark. Oh, 
kind of a thing, doesn't it? Yeah, it seems to be like just dead end rooms on either either end here. So I need to pop pills to help myself out here, maybe. That's the exit, which is We're not getting through at the sledgehammer, are we? Uh, let me dump those. Let's give another another little whack. Okay, so I guess we go this way. Yeah, okay, here you go. It's like, yeah, there's the exit, but you can't have the exit. Or or can we? That was a whole thing, wasn't it? Yeah, watch out for a random guy that might just grab us in a minute. What am I supposed to do? Let's just swing the sledgehammer at him. No, I guess not. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing right here right now. But all the cool scariness of this game it is, um... It can also be like kind of not cryptic and it can I don't know. It's um can be a little bit annoying in that you're like, oh yeah, let's progress the game and then you're just like constantly getting murdered by something and you're like, okay, well I don't know what to do. I'll just keep going with this maybe. That's not helping, is it? Doesn't help that he's terrible at swinging, uh... Oh, light bulb is missing. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, do I need to do that? I, uh... I've got to... Pick up light bulbs. Use one light bulb to get wherever I'm trying to... Ah, we got two light bulbs. I see. I'll see what we've got to do. A little bit tedious, but this is what we're doing. Okay, and there's got nothing in here. Yeah, a tiny little room of nothingness. I'll see. But as long as we've got two, these two light bulbs, we're good, right? And I guess there's no point in doing that. It doesn't activate the exit, does it? Okay, let me just confirm this way. I'm sure there's uh, just a dead end like there, just behind us there. Or maybe not, okay. Rainbow waterfall suffocate. Monkey banana genocide. Shower. Wow. Elephant rape. Elephant rape. I don't know about that, buddy. Okay. I'm guessing I cannot do anything with whatever I'm looking at here. Change the. Uh, it's done something here, I see. Okay, I'll see. Can we. 
No. Okay. I see. No, yeah. No, oh, it's not. Yeah, this is directly after. This is not... It's... This is after the end of his chapter. I was just what I was like, okay, so the game's not over yet. So if you've done the other two uh, chapters there, uh, Dandy Gamer, you'll um, you, you're probably looking at doing this yourself soon, maybe. Okay, so maybe uh, we're looking at the other side here now. Maybe that's opened up to something. Give it a go. Aha. Oh, okay. Uh, that John's room. Okay. Um, we climb up there, though. Seems not. Okay. So be it. That's just that's just for looks, I guess. Oh, I'm a bit grab my light bulbs. And that thing coming after us. They might come after us anyway. Oh, I don't know if that's shifted a bit more, hasn't it? Okay. Well, let's, in that case, let's try it in back this way. Got the music. each of these ways I expect that's what it seems like let's, let's go for it um all right no worries no worries nightmare I mean you don't have to buddy I, th I think it's better to if you're streaming yourself not be distracted by somebody else's stream but you do whatever you like my friend anything there. I'll just pop some extra pills now, I think. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just, my brain damage is looking rather strong. But I, don't many, I don't even know what these pills are. He's popping. And to help with anxiety, I assume. I've lost my sledgehammer. Oh, okay. No, it's there. Um. Oh, no. It's broken. Okay, cool. Cool. We're done now, then, I guess. So, I wonder if I actually need this. Um. I don't know. I'll leave it for now. But there's no more smashing of walls down by the looks of it. I see, and each one we did started taking uh, down the uh, wall at the exit, didn't it? It's not quite there. But let me have a little look. Okay, what's that? Who 
nice. Uh, welcome back, Root. Yeah, light, light bulb leapfrog. That's exactly what we're doing. Okay. Mirror mask. And that's brought us through here. My God. Um, might still want to be jumping down there at some point. I don't know. Um. Okay, that was um interesting. And very uh, curious also. Ah, another question mark. Black blob on the wall. That's two of those we found. It's just on the opposite side of the bathroom. Ah. Looks incomplete. Okay. Uh, and if that's number of pieces per nail, it looks like we found one of six pieces of this mask here. Yeah, yeah, we somehow got back in the house. <laughs> um, yeah, still, still trying to puzzle out exactly what's happening here. Uh, we, nobody knows, do they? But uh, that's fine. So be it. Um, right. Okay. So I guess I've got to look for stuff to find another five pieces of this mask. I guess. So, um, let's get a wandering and exploring and stuffs. Um, so if I, um, if I go back down into the basement, where we just came from, is that still going to be like that? Or is that going to be... Is, have restored itself to factory settings, so to speak? Um, do we have a light on? We do. Right, no. Restored to factory settings. Okay. Okay, so I guess we're still just kind of wandering around looking for... Nobody knows, really. That's, that's also fine. This cupboard is quite curious. I wonder if I've missed something there. have who can say okay there's another broom um Oh, there we go. That's three black blobs. Okay. I assume they're all going to add up to something. Maybe. Could do. Who knows? Guess I'll take a few more of those. I do that extra lighter, maybe. That might be helpful. Um, yeah, we're done with, uh, 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 Rakan. Yeah, I don't know, uh, what uh, necessarily happened at the end there, uh, Root. 
a uh a uh he was in his mental hospital then he got released and then he uh then then we saw him maybe getting trapped to die i don't know it's like in a room that may may or may not have been in the house don't know it's uh, uh very much not obvious okay Will we ever get to make Choco Milk? Does this game have DLC? Is this some of this crap like uh, DLC related? We're never going to be able to get into the safe. We're never going to be able to make Choco Milk because it's DLC related and we obviously we don't have that. Don't know. Oh, Lousy! Lousy! Hey. I like that, bro. I was going to pause it a second. How you doing? We talked about you earlier. Spoke to Ray. How you doing, bro? What are you, Dungeons and Dragons, mate. How's that going, buddy? Don't get me started on that. I've um, I've got thoughts and machinations whirling in my uh, my uh galaxy brain. Uh, <laughs> how you doing, buddy? Are you well? I hope you are. Yeah, how's that going? How's life treating you? Um, Ray was saying you've uh, you just got back from holiday. You had a little holiday. You keep him well, buddy. I was saying to her, yeah, I always notice you um liking my uh tweets and stuff. Like, there's Lawsy. That, that lovely little bee. Hey Dan. But yeah, guys, you never you won't meet a finer gent. You, know, you might meet equal equally fine gents on Twitch, but you're not gonna you know meet a finer gent. But I hope you're doing well, sir. Uh, do you know this game at all, Lawsy? It's um called Hell. No, uh, <laughs> Visage. It's um, it's uh, it's pretty good horror game. It's pretty damn good uh, with the vibes and the scariness. Um, although we're pretty near the end of it, and talk about end, we only got like forty minutes left of our stream. I wonder if we could f complete it today. I don't know if we will. Probably not actually, because we've got. We know we're looking for that crystal mask thing. Know, five more parts of it. Um. So maybe not, but uh, we're close to the end. Um, yeah, you are right. You've not you've just been generally around on Twitch yourself, Lucy. We'll ah, you're on vacation this week. Excellent. Make the most of it. No, bless you. Bless you, Lucy. I appreciate that, Ray. Thinking of me, sir. Um, there you go, Root. Well, I mean, I don't want to talk about this right at the minute, but... um. Yeah, Root, you're you're on the shortlist. Don't worry about that. Um, yeah, visage like a mask. See, uh, see what they did there. Um, yeah, it's it's a bit clunky. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's kind of split into chapters. So he's trapped in this house, and you're trying to figure out what's going on. And then you'd like start a chapter by picking up a particular item, and then it's like a different version of the house, the version that we did yesterday seem to be the longest of the chapters the dolores's chapter which um of the three we've done it's kind of like the meat the, the one in the middle i feel um and it's uh there's a lot of backwards and forwards. it got to the point where i wasn't feeling the scariness i was just feeling the clunkiness basically um we might have uh inadvertently done the best chapter first <laughs> It could be, but I am. Um, I have greatly enjoyed it, and I uh, there is a lot of scariness about it, and um, I'm curious to see how it ends. Like, what is like really going on here? And I'm probably gonna. I'm probably. It's probably gonna get the end credits, and we're not gonna be like, I'm gonna, what, what happened? I don't know what happened. Uh, <laughs> what was what was actually going on here? I'm probably. And I, I care enough to maybe like look up a synopsis and try and understand it, but um. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, Lawsy. Yeah, anyone doesn't know Lawsy, you know, I'm not I'm not making you do anything. But if you're looking for a random awesome guy to go talk to, he's your man. Um, 
Uh, yeah, I mean, because, yeah, Lawsy, he's been playing some Dungeons & Dragons. He's, uh, I don't know if you were DMing or you were, if you were a player, but Lawsy himself is actually quite new to Dungeons & Dragons. And he doesn't know, I'm quite old school, and I haven't played any at all in a long, long time. So much so that I'm massively, massively out of the loop. But I'm somewhat planning to fix that. And I won't say Dungeons and Dragons. That's just the... It's almost like that's a catch-all term. It's not my go-to system, but... Uh, let's talk about that later. It might even be streamed, or it might be. I don't know. I've got to recruit people first. I've also got to get my shit in line. Get to go out of my ass in gear. Which include, I'm doing a lot of reading at the minute. Let's just put it that way. Anyway, more on that in the future. Um, so what else? Uh, we've, so we found a couple of black blobs. Uh, and that may or may not have done a thing. Um, anything in here? Is it okay? It's possibly also missing one uh, videotape still. Potentially. Um, let me close the doors on me. Thank you kindly. Yeah, all the broken keys. That's, that's quite funny. Not, not funny. Not funny. Ha ha. Funny, but. <laughs> so we might have to go in the mirror room now. But I don't think there'll be anything here. Yeah, there we go. Found that one there. One down by the TV room in the basement. And then the the large black blob we found uh, just up the stairs here. I guess we'll have a little look. Um, this one, this is the this is the daddy. It's just like, oh, question mark. What am, I, what am I supposed to do with that? Oh, the neighbours. Oh, we can read the... Uh, this page has been ripped. cannot be read. It's just the game trying to scare us. Um, cannot... The Dominator. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Wayland Jones. Excellent. Now, I swear this is slightly different lay layouts. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so maybe this was always here. Okay. So the problem with the comic book, the neighbours, I can't actually, it's, we're in the freaking dark. Um, this is going to tell us some stuff. I wanna st can I? You got a freaking light bulb in here, John. I can repair, repair or something, bro. Because I want to read your comic book there. I don't know, I expect to read it in the dark. Unless I, can I switch the light to that hand? No, he puts the freaking lighter away. I don't actually see it. I don't know, it'd be like, just, I guess I could just read it, maybe. That's annoying. I want to see the pictures, though. I don't know if anyone knows how to do that. Mirage? What there, Mirage? How you doing? Uh, sorry, yes, let me catch up with you. Uh, you're the player, are you, Lucy? Um, uh, nice. It's a great pleasure in both. I, I for myself, I find it's um, slightly more fun to be the DM. Just by a tiny fraction. But it takes, like, ten times more work. At least ten times, if not more. How you doing, Raj? You well, buddy? Um, condemned. No, I have it. I have it, though, Lawsy. I've, uh, I've never played it, though. I'll check it. Makes you think of that, does it? Um... 
Oh, that's that's terrible. You've got loads of friends, Mirage. You've got to browbeat them into getting involved. Um, I'm go I feel like I'm just going to read the comic, even though we can't get the pictures, which is unfortunate. Right, the neighbours. Oh, no, hang on. Are we at the front? Right, there we go. Sight, I'm going outside. We let's take it from the, the beginning. So so annoying. Like we have gone over. You're just looking at the dark screen, aren't you? But is, is it, can we can we get to the the beginning of the comic? Sorry, I'm going outside. That's not that's no good, Rose. It's got to be a way to actually read the comic. You know what? Hang on a second. Let me just pause it for a sec. I'm going to just look this up. Not the comic book, but... So we found a bunch of pages for it. And I feel we've got all of the, pa the spare pages, but maybe we didn't. Um, it's got to be having to turn the freaking light on so we can actually look at it. Uh, how to read the comic. I'm not trying to find the, all the comic book pages. Yeah, how to find all the, the pages, the four, all four pages of the comic book. We found at least four, so we must have got them all. Oh, okay, hang on a second. There's apparently a lamp on the desk, maybe. God damn, thank God for that. Okay, okay, folks, here we go. The neighbours. We can actually do it. Scary stories of the day to read the neighbours. Number one. Action Lab Danger Zone. She's dead. What in the hell is going on over there? Features Tales by Kelly Williams and uh, Chaz Pangman. Okay. Nineteen sixty one, Oregon. No, no. Let me go. That's my baby. That's our child. Oh Lucy. It's all right, this is Lucy's story in sixty one. Um Sorry, I'll, I'll catch up with what you guys are saying about D&D &D in a second. Uh, uh, let's go this way, ma'am. We'll get you a chair and a glass of water. That sounds good, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a chair and a glass. Oh, my, my child has just died. A chair and a glass of water. That's what That's what I need. That's, what, that's how they thought in the 60s. <laughs> uh, we've just got a few questions for you. Frank! Something happened to that sweet little girl. Yeah, so this is um, this lady. This is Rose and her husband, Frank. They are the neighbours looking out on the other side of the uh, road there. Um, what? She's talking to herself again. That girl gives me the heebie-jeebies. She's dead, Frank. Are you even listening to me? Lucy is dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Rose, you just... <laughs> Gotta see this horse. Uh, they call him Ed, and he talks. A talking horse. Can you believe that? Uh, I'm going outside. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy now. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm 52 years old. 52. You're lucky you didn't give me a heart attack. Oh, she looks about 72. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we've already seen enough broken hearts one night. Uh, which is exactly why we're here. This area is under investigation. We ask that you stay in your house until further notice. What happened to Lucy? Are her parents? We're not at liberty to discuss. Yes, it's very conf it's very confidential. No, ma'am, I'm telling you one last time. Stay inside until further notice. Ha ha ha! Frank, what well, is he's, he's not quite right. Okay. And uh, Rose getting a glass of water. Yeah, one year later. Uh, the new neighbours have a kid. Just one. Oh, I know. I could never live in a house where someone died. Rose, how much longer? I'm starving. Don't make me eat the goddamn remote. Uh, Frank, give me five more minutes. Dinner is almost... Oh, he snatches the phone off her. Okay, that's enough. Let's talk in more cooking. Slam. What an asshole. All right, 1965. A uh, single man, no kids, a big house like that. Okay, so 
I can only shoot. I maybe got it the wrong way around. So obviously Lucy was maybe the first one. Uh, and then um, Dolores was actually afterwards. I just kind of got the vibe it's other around, but who knows? Um, and then the single man, Rakan, has uh, moved in afterwards. Yeah, single man, no kids, a big house like that. Yeah, I did. I did wonder that. Well, don't get any funny, funny ideas about our neighbour. You're stuck in this wonderful and happy marriage. Frank, what the? <laughs> oh, calm down. You know it's not like that. I'm just worried about Lewis. He seems unhappy. Hmm. Uh, 1970. Oh my god, how many years later is this? Has he been there? Eight years later, okay. Okay, so this one must be when, uh, surely 1970, this must be where, um, the Andersons moved in. I wasn't gawking at him. He just seems like a nice young man. Oh, sure. I heard you telling your sister all about your new, uh, rugby player neighbour. Admit it. I, oh, I know you want Rakan. Okay. Oh, he's been there eight years. You're always looking for some man to... And she launches the glass in there. Well, I mean, you know, she's... So she's like about 60 years old now. The Khan's like, even if he's been there eight years, he's like in his 30s. He's... Oh, Frank's a dick. Um, <laughs> 1985. Okay, moving on many, many years. Hello, Dwayne. It's Rose, your neighbour. Yeah, remember being calling us up. I, I know it's late, and I know they tend to be a little anxious about small things. Yeah, this is now she's phoned us up. I, I apologise for that, but I'm getting a bit worried. I haven't seen you out of the house in about three weeks. Is everything all right? This is the very start of the game. Could you call me just to let me know everything's fine? Was she... All right, bye, bye. Okay, she, okay she, she has, over the road, she has killed her own husband. And he's drinking his blood. Okay. To be continued. Right, okay. Spaghetti circles. Wow! All new. So neat. Spoonable. And practically unspillable. <laughs> Open wide for tiny spaghetti circles in a bright red sauce made of tomatoes and cheddar cheese. Ow! Get a nourishing and hot lunch within minutes. Great for the whole family. One dollar coupon. Oh, wait. Is there, is, can we turn to the back page, maybe? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay, that was that was fun. We'll leave that a second. <laughs> Let me just pause that a second. So, um, hush game. So, I wonder if um, the evil influence in the pl house is making everybody like kill their family and all. There's all ghosts and everything. I wonder if that has literally seeped out of the house into the neighbor's house. Because uh, I can understand Rose murdering her awful, awful husband Frank. I don't. I'm like, why haven't you done it already, Rose? But drinking his blood, that's, that's, I don't know, that seems a bit much. Anyway, I mean, I want to just catch up with you guys. You're talking about some interesting stuff. Um, here we go. Back up, back up. Um, wow, okay. <laughs> Mariah, white, so sorry, four white mages in, the, in Final Fantasy. That's, I mean, bro, rather you than me. Good luck with that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure it's technically doable, but isn't it going to be like very... The battle's going to be very drawn out. Um, oh, yeah. No doubt, Lawsy. No doubt. Okay, Songbird, that sounds uh, a bit of a pain. Yeah, you, you got to make sure people are having fun. you got replacements. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, because if you... It can be tricky bringing people together, can't it? Not everyone gels. Um, I tried to kill you out of the game. What? Wow, that sounds crazy. Uh, excellent. Oh, Mirage. Four white mages. I mean, how... how <laughs> I 
I'm sure you can keep stay alive, and it's a technical possibility. But they just do so little damage, Mirage. That's the that's the only issue. That's my only concern for you, buddy. But uh, good good on you. Okay, I'm glad we got to read the comic. So that's good to know. Um, but I I'm slightly at a loss for what we should be doing right about now, guys. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like I've been around the rest of the house now. I guess I should look up in the attic, maybe. Because uh, there might have been something I missed up there. Well, I don't think there will be. I feel like we better have a little, a little look. It's very curious because that that extra thing we got is we just it doesn't have to be in the right we looked at the right thing at the right time in that very specific spot in the basement we looked at a light bulb and then and then that put us in that section that very short section with the scary man and then that got us the uh That got us one sixth of that crystal mask thing we're trying to collect. Just trying to figure. Um, what possibly else we could or should be doing right about now? I don't know. I don't know. Um, ah, yeah, good point. Yeah, good point. I, I always forget about those, uh, Mirage. Because, yeah, yeah, your actual uh, consumable items that have, like, black magic built into them. Baked into them. So you get, like, a decent spell for an item. One use. But, um, yeah, which usually, you're like, ah, I don't need these. But you are definitely going to need those. <laughs> it's just, it is... Okay, the light is empty. Never mind. Close that. Mm. Yeah, if anyone's got any ideas, feel free to uh, throw them at me because I feel like we've we've walked around everywhere and uh, let me junk that. Yeah, still one uh, video cassette we're missing. Unless, um... Unless they're, like, cl clues to... Yeah, the TV lights being on. This one will be turned off. I, I know not. Um,
Yeah, so we've come this far, and I don't want to be, like, really looking stuff up or, uh, or this far into it, you know, but... That's not... Gonna be, like, in a cupboard. The rest are on, like, walls, aren't they? So I don't know that they would be anywhere else. Okay, this is the biggest black blob so far. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we're we'll looking on ceilings as well. Or something, is it? Yeah, that's the bloody uh, rope is still here that Dolores hung herself with. <laughs> Jeez. Um. Okay, so I've got one. Two great big black blobs. And I've got. Oh! This one got bigger. That one bigger now. Let me check the other one. I think the, yeah, the other one's uh, down in the basement in the TV room. That's got bigger as well. I've just got to keep checking them over and over again. Like, kind of nur nurture their black gooiness. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know what I'm actually kind of really doing. It's just those four that I've seen. Um, I'm sure there might be others I've, I've missed. Oh, here we go. The fifth one. I'm sure that wasn't there last when we came through before. I think I might. I may be on something. Black goo. I oh, see. I don't want to click them in some weird order or something. That would be a bit of a pain, wouldn't it? Excuse me. Tiny bastard. Uh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I think that's appropriate. Of course, the shower curtain constantly closes itself. Because, of, of course, it does.
That does seem to be across all of the chapters. That does seem to be a bit of a recurring motif. The the black goo, the weird the uh, black paint, whatever it is, blood. I don't know. No one knows. Uh, it's like it could be like oil or just mold or nobody really knows. Um. Uh. Oh my God. Sorry, let me just get, get rid of this bot here. Oh, excellent, thank you. Thank you, Squidge. Yeah, Squidge, be careful. This is this is scary. It's still scary, Squidge. Be careful. <laughs> um The uh the I don't know uh Songbell. I've not I think I've seen that. The name rings a bell. I think I'm, maybe I'm vaguely aware of it, but I can't tell if that that's definitely got bigger since the start but I don't know if it's absolutely got bigger oh, I don't know uh, uh, oh god we got like 10 minutes left there's no point in looking stuff up now um, we'll just wrap up in a second and we'll come back at it fresh tomorrow and uh, if I uh If I uh, feel the uh, need to look something up, then or get a hint from Ryan or something, then we'll uh, we'll do that later if we need to. So for right now, it's kind of uh, feels a bit pointless. Yeah, okay, make sure there's not one in here. There's not. The stairway, the kitchen. Oh. Well, again, we could probably jump down there, but that locks us into. Well, as far as we're aware, dying. So, <laughs> so maybe that's not uh, the best thing to do. <sighs> yeah, I'm kind of at a bit of a loss here, folks. I feel like we've been over and over this house. Like, that I'm losing. I lost track how many times. <laughs> Uh, let's just, I guess we'll just leave it here. I'm the manual safe. You're quite, I mean, we're quite far through it, aren't we? Seventy-nine percent, apparently. I don't know. That's where that's from, like a you know, hundred percent perspective. You don't need a hundred percent to wrap up the entire game, maybe. I 
Unless we, unless we do have to uh, go into the proper, you know, the laboratory in the basement. Um, you just had to not do it before you got to you done the first three chapters. I honestly don't know. Um, Ryan, yeah, chapter four is going on. We're going to wrap it up though, because we're at the end of today's stream. Um, yeah, I guess it's chapter four. We're trying to find pieces of a um a crystal mask or something. Gla gla you know sections of something to make up a crystal or glass object we found one we randomly somehow bumped into uh, some, we triggered some like weird little self-contained section we didn't take too much to do we died a couple of times but yeah we got through it and then we got that for our trouble which then appears in the uh collections room and it seems to be one of six pieces other five pieces yeah he's safe to come out now squidge come join us for a minute <laughs> Uh, the other five pieces, who knows? Um, there, are, there is a black goo in certain places in the house. I've seen five patches so far. They do. Some of them seem to be growing in size. We have one uh, on the wall in the landing hall, directly outside the bathroom. We have one um in on the ceiling just from the rot in the cor in the ceiling of the corridor just left as you come down the stairs from upstairs there is one blob that is on the kitchen ceiling there is uh one uh blob on the wall in the hallway directly opposite one of the doorways um from the mirror room that just the little corridor that's next to the reading room uh and there's one blob in the basement near the t just around the court you know the behind the tv with in the tv room in the basement and you click them it says oh question mark now say so yeah, a couple of them seem to be growing i feel like the one that was uh on the ceiling in the kitchen i'm sure i walked through there and it wasn't there and it's now appeared though I've just got run around a few times clicking on them. See so if that like helped them along the way. Aside from that, I believe we've I've walked around the whole house several times. Nothing else seems to be triggering or popping up. So I don't know. I don't know, Ryan. I'll I'll leave it tonight. I don't want to be looking. Um, yeah, chapter three. Yeah, uh, Raycon, 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 Raycon. Uh, I'm not sure the exact pronunciation of his name. Um, I I like Racken, you know, but that's that's too hardcore apparently. Uh, <laughs> um yeah it, it definitely popped up on screen chapter complete and we've we got his dual wheeled eyeball uh in in the collection room um yeah red mage well i don't know i, I guess it's because they they want different things to happen in the same area but they they don't want too much like cross contamination you can you can do them in any order but it definitely feels like there's things that will or will not happen while you are on or not on a chapter. Like, for example, you can't go into the, the lab in the basement while you're on a chapter. When you're in the middle of a chapter, he just goes, no, I'm not doing that in a minute. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, stuff like that. And obviously things will be different in the house depending on what chapter you're on, what you're dealing with at any given time. Um... Yeah, you just think of it with different levels. Don't be uh, confused by the fact that it seems to be happening in the same place. So from my point of view, we've completed the first... We've done the prologue and the first three levels. And you can do the first three, le three levels in any order you like. We've done all three of those now. And we're on the f fourth and final level. But I've come to a bit of a roadblock. I don't know what is going on or what we're supposed to be looking for but i won't look at anything up now i always find that uh sleeping on it for a night uh this happened so many times it happened to me over my uh over my life in a video game you're stuck you're like i can't work it out i can't work it out i don't know what to do 
I don't know what to do. I know. I'll call Squidge because she's over 9,000. So, Squidge, what should we do? Um, but then you come back to it the next day, and like within five minutes of starting the game up again, loading up your save file, you're like, you overcame the thing that was, but yeah, was you were struggling with, like for hours the day before. So many times that's happened. I'm like, oh my god, I didn't, didn't even think about that. It's like so obvious when it comes to pass. I don't know. But um, Squidge, my god, Squidge. This is true. This is true, Scotty. 42. Mike, I don't know if you're there at the minute, buddy. But you need to understand that Squidge herself is coming for your crown. One flex away from equalizing Mike's top score. Squidge. I'm sure you're well aware of that fact. Um so yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll just leave it. I mean, I've mentioned it to him, uh, Red Mage. He's not uh He's not acknowledged it, or he's like seething uh, quietly, or I don't know, he's, or he just uh, he doesn't care. He, either way, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm not hiding it from Red Mage. But um, you know, I'm not like I'm not going to message him after stream. Like, oh, by the way, Mike, did you did you know? Uh, that's 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 between him and the power of the universe, isn't it? Uh, no, ruffling any feathers. Right. <laughs> Don't worry about that. If feathers were to get ruffled, which I'm sure they won't, but if they were for any reason, then stop diddy. It's like, you know, the the systems in terms of channel points or um, producer privileges or, you know, uh, or sub privileges or anything else that happens on this channel or Twitch, everyone knows the rules. Everyone knows how things work. Um, so there's no there's no reason for uh, the ruffling feathers. I, I speaking for Mike, I'm sure he doesn't mind me speaking for him in this regard. He, he doesn't care. You know, what I mean, he's not going to be like upset or anything. You, you know, he'd be like, oh, okay. I mean, so don't worry about that. Um, you've got yeah. So Squidge uh, has mentioned it yesterday, and has mentioned it a few times. Squidge has the very specific goal of reach, not trying to become number one, not trying to overtake people, but just to as quickly as possible. Get 100 flexes. Get to 100 specific individual flexes on the leaderboard. Now, the rate Squidge is going, that's going to put Squidge in first place sometime soon, probably. And maintain that for probably quite a while. But then Squidge is like, I don't care. I don't want to flex anymore, apparently. And that's, that's, between, that's, that's, uh, that's between the universe and Squidge. Um, so, yeah, you know. Who knows, Squidge? It may be that you become number one flexer and then you are for the, the all time. Or it could be, you know, we look back to 15 years from now and we'll be like, hey, oh, I'll be like, oi, oi, Mr. Rando, that's 101 flexers there. You've just overtaken Squidge. You know, that, that puts you in 1,068th place. Um,. We don't know. You don't know how, how the flexing is going to go. Um, yeah, there you go. Serene's just got uh, the, the you know, just beat tubes. Well, you know, got to gotta get on it, Serene. I think, I, I think he's just ahead of you at the minute. I think. Let me check. Yeah, he's like one ahead of you, Serene. <laughs> he's just... So you got you get two before he gets another one. You've overtaken him. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. Uh, it's a nice milestone, indeed. Yeah, and of course so you'd have the bragging rights of being the first person to get a hundred. Do you know what I mean? It's like the you know they'd be like, oh, the um, the first person to do a thing. It doesn't matter that after the fact people like smash that record. You know, being the first of a th to do a thing is also uh. uh yeah, no. Yeah, of course he is. Of course he is, Swing. Of course he is. He's, you know, he's keeping an eye on it. Of course he is. And then he'll be like, uh, yeah, as soon as you do one, he'll, he'll do one and just stay one ahead of you. Of course he will, because he's evil. Uh, apparently. Um, someone who's not evil is, uh, is Stargazing Seastar, who is over 
9,000. How are you doing today, Sea Star? You well, my dear? What's going on? How have you been? How's your, how's your Wednesday been? Here we go. Oh, Sea Star's got a few on there. That Sea Star, you've, you've been smashing through these recently. I swear it wasn't that long ago. You kind of found found the channel, Sea Star. It was when we were playing uh, Red Dead, wasn't it? I believe. Um, you got your VIP, and that that's your seventh flex right there. Well, well, Dwam, Dwamity. Um, there we go. Moving up a couple of spaces. Just taking twentieth position. Let's shift everyone else down a little bit. Every, not everyone, just the people you've ever taken, obviously. Boom. Well, thank you, Seastar. Toob is the most evil. I think, he's, I assume he's the most evil because he's, you don't believe it. What was that saying? Um, the greatest trick that the devil ever pulled was uh, convincing you that he didn't exist. A swooper right there. Yeah, anyone who doesn't know him is like, what? No, he's the nicest guy I've ever met. You know, he's the nicest guy I've ever met. And Sween's like, no, he, that's, 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 meant he does that on purpose. And you're like, what? He t no, really, Sween? She's like, yes, he's evil. And then, and then, and then Tuba's like, oh yeah, no, I'm like, I'm, I am a little bit evil. And like, in the most polite and friendly voice. And you're like, oh, yeah, it's a trap. <laughs> um, oh, anything I can do to help Seastar, you just, you know. But yeah, it's a um, rough day so far. Just lurking. I hope that. I hope you're feeling better tomorrow, Sea Star. Anything I can do, you just let me know. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, overall, Visage has been uh, a lot of fun. Um, and uh, I hopefully will complete it tomorrow. We'll be on track to complete it. I won't look anything up tonight. So I don't want to. We'll just we'll start up tomorrow. I'll do a little wander around, see if anything has changed. If there's anything we can do about anything. And then if I'm just still at a loss, like, you know, 20 minutes into ga the game tomorrow, then I'll... Then I'll start, like, asking Ryan. I'll be like, yeah, Ryan. Oh, my I'll, Or I'll look things up myself if, ne if needed. We'll do what we got to do. Anyway. I should probably do the thank yous. All these thank yous. Let me have a look. A lot of thank yous. Uh, yes. Ryan. Not that guy. Not that guy, Ryan. That guy, Ryan. Not that guy. My God. That, not that guy, Ryan. Wonderful Ryan. Seven gift subs. Yeah, that many. Seven. Thank you, Ryan. Calm yourself, sir. Or oh, don't. Do whatever you like. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much to Nightmare for the, uh, the follow. Uh, thank you very much to Brother Respect for the, um... The raid and the follow, and uh, emo esque who came in, and the dandy gamer uh, for the follows also. Thank you, uh, brother respect for finding us and dropping that uh, that raid, and also of course the the number one gent himself, Rosie. Sir, thank you for your raid. Um, yeah, because that's the thing. Because a game like this, where it's just puzzle, do you know what I mean? It's uh like if I'm looking up a game for like strategies on like combat, it's like, oh I can't beat this boss. What is this? what's a good strategy? What's what do I need to do? That's one thing. But when it's just strictly puzzle, you're kind of like literally kind of ruining the game for yourself by looking up, aren't you? Does that make sense? Because it's like that's that's all it is. Um we shall see, though. I don't, you know, there's only so much wandering around a, a random house I can do. Just be like, oh, we, we've been in this room before. Oh, let's go in this room. Oh, yeah, nothing's different in this room. You know, the uh, the, <laughs> the first six times we went in there, nothing changed. But, you know, you never know. Seventh time lucky. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but, yeah, definitely, Lawsy. I've, I've, I've felt that many times in the past playing video games. Been absolutely stumped. Been like, I don't get it. Nothing makes sense. Sleep on it. 
next day. When I, when I say sleep on it, I don't even mean like you're thinking about it. You put it out of your mind. You dismiss it. Don't even think about it. Come back the next day, 10 minutes in. You're like, oh, and you just do it straight away. I don't know. We'll see. But a game like this is a bit of a weird oddball, isn't it? Where it's, it's not like a typical game. I don't know what a typical game is, but that makes sense. I'm sure it does. So, time to uh, raid us out, I uh, I believe. Let me see who's around. Uh, let me pause that. Uh, oh, oh, uh, um, cool and interesting peoples around. Red mage, you take care of yourself. Um, no, of course, thank you, Lawsy. I like that. Oh damn, is that your? That's your Pikachu. That's rather nice. That's very nice, in fact. Let's see who. Who could we go for? Um, there's plenty of cool people here. There's somebody uh, who is rather awesome, who I... Who ne never is never usually streaming this early. Is, um, Buck. Don't give a buck. That's radio. He's saying, I'm only sleeping. I don't know what that is. I don't... It doesn't matter. Uh, Buck Tobor, eh? I don't know if he's, um... He's uh, streaming uh, every single day or something. But yeah, I, I usually never see him because he's, he's yeah, I'm done and dusted for the day before he's um, before he's uh, up and running. So yeah, if you don't know Buck, hang around for a minute. He's a he's a cool guy. He's like really chill. He's really friendly. He's really uh, welcoming of everyone. Um. I think I met him through Slight, I believe. Slight re redeemed a raid. Oh, let's check this guy out. He's a good guy. Um, he is, he, I will say this. He's a 420 streamer. So if for some reason you're, you know, he's not like an idiot, but like some people that don't want to see that kind of, you know, just like you might want to see someone like, drinking alcohol on the stream. I don't know, but... um, Oh, he's literally sleeping. Okay. Like, actually sleeping. I thought that was... I thought you're not allowed to do that. Oh, is he... Why has he got the category of I'm only sleeping? Okay, well... I'll, 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 I'll send him the love anyway. Yeah, I... Just so he, like, knows that I raided and he knows that I'm thinking of him. Because, you know. Yeah, I thought... One, I thought you, that was against terms of service. Two, if it's not, there seems to be a category for it. Uh, and... Or, or if there's not, he somehow found a way to set a custom category. Anyway, this... We're going, anyway. Let's find out. Uh, I'll, same time tomorrow, guys. Get me on Discord if you need me. Let's go.